The recording has started. It's Ambrosia's time! Welcome uh, to the fifth session? Fifth of session, yes. Yes, fifth session of Ambrosia Isles. Today is. Take it away, Dungeon Master. Alright. <clears throat> Where there we left off, Dark. You, are, I <laughs> you have I been said... hired on by the Shah of Ruffin to negotiate a treaty with the neighboring Tawaki tribe. Thanks to the Dark Turn, though, as the elders of the Tawaki tribe were shot at during the negotiations. Soon you realize that the elders were not shot with bullets, but rather shards of amplification. The Tawaki tribe was soon torn apart by the beastly versions of their elders, and you were hired on to investigate the crime scene. You found a tra trail leading to the perpetrator's campsite, where you found three members of the Idokrace tribe. But no shooter, oddly. Now, the Idokrace seem to have moved out of the Dark Forest in Tyon, and you have been hired on by Pachinko to investigate the Dark Forest once again. However, traveling back to the city of Tyon during this day may prove difficult, as the Sulfur Solstice is just around the corner. Remind me, what is that again? Yeah. Well, you're, you know, you're from out of town, so you really wouldn't know, would you? Would yeah, I know? Well, it's a global thing, were, right? You were, no, it's not a global thing, but you were around when the first Sulfur Solstice a year ago happened. Well, not the first one, but you know. The first one you saw. So you know a little bit about it, but you weren't there directly. Oh, what was the okay, when so was the first Sunfire Solstice? The first Sunfire Solstice, you don't know. It's just always been around. But uh, the Sunfire Solstice is a celebration of the gods who have passed on and the current life and death gods. Fine. So weird. Pachinko just asked you what your party's name was. Uh. <laughs> to go into deep discussion I about guess this. we're making it official now, huh? Well, <laughs> Lilum, what do you think? Uh, Lilum and lads. Lilum. My vote's for, um, let's see, the Supreme Six? No. That works yeah, for me. I don't really Good want... religious connotations? Over a It gives us all individual power? Like, you know, oh, she's what they're one of the Supreme Six. Well, in There's only five of you. Yeah, hey. Oh, well, what about Dormy? I don't think a familiar counts. Yeah, they do. Well, I mean, count counted for all of it, right? In theory, about if we count about new party members coming in, we could call ourselves something relevant to that, like parts of a whole, like feathers to a bird or something. What, like five and a half feathers? Five and a half feathers? <laughs> yeah. The... <laughs> so, uh, Dormy is a member, and is G the Ha? No. Oh. <laughs> Dormy means the hat. Mm. Alright, yeah. It does sound I quite Yeah. People would like it. Well, uh, what do you think, Manch? It works for me. I really don't care. I mean, Time to check my money. It seems that we got that settled. Um, should we Five go to the festival then? Well, the yes. festival is tomorrow morning. Oh, wait, I'd say you shouldn't yeah. travel to to Taiwan until the day after. If you're going to go, yeah, it'll be very hard to maneuver around the city during the festival. And especially getting out of it with all the carts and traders coming in. No, it's uh, it's not the day to the solstice. What'd you say, Dart? Ah, I said, Stephen, you haven't seen the ritual of the cycle before, right? Nah. Are have I? Yeah. <laughs> no, you have not. No, I haven't. It's um, it's something to behold, at least. I don't Ooh. think we're allowed to see the ritual of the cycle. No, everyone's allowed to watch it. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, if you sneak in, you can watch it. <laughs> Don't need to sneak in. But uh, I'll put you down as five and a half feathers then to the breast. 
You might be seeing yourselves on the radio every once in a while. There's a radio? Wait, radios wait, wait, are wait, common. Wait, 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 wait. We have a radio? There's Can we radio start up one of those, like... Uh, what are they, what are they call them? Like, I think podcasts? they're called... Po yeah, podcasts. Hmm. Why do they put them... That's not very the popular. It's like the... Yes, I heard about the things. It's the thing where you record into this small, like, box or like pod and you chuck it at somebody else it it it, it, it seems it seems like a mainlander thing seems like easy propaganda sounds like magic <laughs> to me doesn't well, really matter most definitely is. anyways well going risk. Hope you all have fun at the festival tomorrow morning i am very i am very tired and uh my leg is more broken than it should be <laughs> Going to go rest. My head hurts again. Have a good day. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Have a good day, she Pachinko. Out. She's fucking creepy. Oh, she went out through the wall. She went. She faced she through, through the wall. A, she went through the door. She faced through the wall. She faced through the wall. She's fucking creepy. Oh my god. Okay. I know. Hey, I go shopping really quickly. There are enough shops open at this hour. Damn. That's Nam saying, go shopping tomorrow, Scrub. Wow, well, fine. Tomorrow. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go outside. Okay, what are you doing outside? I'm training my dexterity. <coughs> okay. He's going through a montage. Yeah, of course. How are you doing that? Montage. Oh, God. Uh, I'm just gonna, like... <sighs> You know, I used to do this a lot. You know, being a goblin, you have to you have to deal with a lot of like uh, shitty people in the world. Uh, so I'm just kind of like honing my skills of like hiding in the shadows, dealing with annoying headaches, um, training my stealth for training a couple hours. Your okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use I'm gonna like in character make one of my psionic roles, like if that makes sense, is like kind of like alter one of the fates with my psionic mm -hmm. die. It's like, oh wow, I can use my brain power to make me self make succeed. Yeah, oh my god. Okay. And then that's it. Yeah, I'm just, I was just giving myself a reason why I would have the psionic talent. Hmm. Uh, it's right. even, does do me weigh anything? Uh... Yeah, why? Oh. I'm just wondering, because, like, they, they float, right? So shouldn't they be, like, lighter than air? Are you just in Steven's room? I mean, no, I see like, you just all at a table still. Do you just, like, immediately bolted? I didn't oh, bolt. It was, it was, like, a casual stroll out the, out the bar. It was a casual bolt. Yeah, okay, it was a casual bolt. <laughs> he was, like, a he I'm jog. gonna go and try to lift Dormy. Like... You, she weighs about two to two to five pounds. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, like yeah. Stone. Really light. You could probably catapult this or something. Why would I? I don't know. No. God. Uh, so Saudia, now know? is not the time. Uh. I, I saw a picture of a dolphin, right? It looked pretty cute. Oh dear. I have yet to see a real dolphin though, so... Hopefully it looks like the real one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Dormy blinks at your direction, Steven. Who does? Dormy. Dormy. What sort of check could it be to see, like, where in the aisles are the dolphin? History? Uh... Yeah, give me a history check. I assume by the sea. <laughs> That's what my 18 intelligence gets me. That would make the most sense. Oh no, the with with my six intelligence, they're probably on the land. Land dolphin. Uh, they probably like swim in the dart. forest. A snake. What is that dart? Uh, that's an eight. Oh. Wow. Uh, well, you do. You have no idea where they are. Kirby, don't you dare. You know go they're somewhere in the south southwest. Don't I dare what? Don't you dare consider snakes slithering on the ground as snakes swimming on land. That's a lot <laughs> more scary than you're giving it up to be. 
I imagine dolphins come from like more tropical and temperate areas, so yeah. they're probably uh, near Wegelbrook. Regalbrook. Are you speaking common? I'm not here. <laughs> Liam goes and goes to Steven's room because Steven's room is connected to his room because Liam's Willem's room is the bathroom. <laughs> Willem's, Willem's just got the in-law suite. Nan, how long? Yeah. How many drinks can I have until I have to start rolling con saves? Uh, I'll say three. Doesn't it like cost okay, him good. a Okay, I'm gonna have three drinks while they're doing this. No, Willem, we're the five and because a half I'm feathers. We don't pay for drinks. Because I'm questioning why I'm still listening to them. You don't have to be. I stopped. <laughs> okay. I'm, yes, but they yeah, might say something to smart. To, they might. Gonna go to the rest? Rest? Well, Are we going to sleep? Whomst oh. is going to bed, and whomst is taking one point of exhaustion? I am. Um, before I get to bed, I'm, I'm like. Well, um. I'm having the three drinks, and then I'm heading to bed. And I'm using the furniture as, like, you know, uh, weights or whatever, just lifting it up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your strength? You could have just bought the magical weights from Tyon, but okay. Those are fucking no. expensive. They're, they're the they're fucking magic. expensive. I don't, the magic. I don't think you can like... lift a couch by yourself. I'm not a couch, I don't, I don't think she has a couch, right? She just lifts from a No, you just chair. have like a single chair, a bed, and a exactly. nice... Lift the bed. And a lamp. An oil lamp, yeah. probably. That's how you able to lift the bed. Um, anyway... That, I might, though. Reading through his books and writing down notes... All right. ...about random things. Alright. Mm -hmm. And... We move on to the next day. It's a bright morning in the and outside, and you all wake up, and outside, you hear a bunch of bustling of street markets and people. It's a lot more, it sounds a lot louder outside than normal. What do you got for breakfast? Ah, oh, we got the thing in from yesterday, sir. That's fine with me. Oh, wait, that's the tofu the chicken shit, right? It's the to- no, the chicken shit was for Shaw. This is the caramel tofu soup. Oh, well, that sounds even worse. <laughs> I, I, I think I'll pass. <laughs> I think I'll pass. I'm just gonna eat some rations. <laughs> yeah, God. We're gonna a lot of street food out tonight, because in a minute it's a festival. Yeah. I'll prob <laughs> I'll uh, probably yeah, do that. You're, you're not from around uh, Western, right? So you might, you know, you just want to partake in the, the festivities. Yeah, festivities are uh, nice and everything, but... Um, uh, I haven't really... Steven, as you're walking downstairs, you hear in Lulum's room, because he's connected to you, you hear something slam against the wall, and Lulum just go, Fuck! Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> Hey, where's Lil up? You know, I should check and go head back up. What? And, uh, knock on. Hey, how the fuck are these connected? <laughs> There's actually a door going directly in the Lilum's room. I just drew it shittily. You each have your own No, 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 he's got an in law suite. He's got an in, bleh, in law suite. Yeah. It's canon. He's sleeping in the bathroom. Uh, That's a big ass bathroom, man. It's the size of the house. <laughs> Alright, Lilum goes and opens the door. Hey, Lilum, you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just practicing. There's stuff. the doors. <laughs> Everything's working. Practicing swear words. You good, bro? I'm fine. I'm practicing new magic. They're oh, it's hard. Oh dear. Neat. I'm not causing any damages to anything. I hope. No, no. I'm gonna head back out now. It's one of those radios, guys. <laughs> it's in the kitchen. It's my like propaganda. No I take out a phone. <laughs> it's my gnomish, uh, my gnomish propaganda machine. My gnomish communication device. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. God. Yeah. Wait, are. Wait, the hell what, is my dad doing? What, is it. Uh. It's morning. It's morning? Yes, it's morning. What time is it, man? 
Uh, it is around 7 a.m. Fucking early. Well, well I guess in theory we need to I woke up do as early as possible to uh, exploit the entire festival, right? Hell yeah. Wait, festival? What? Um, yeah, remember? Yeah. Um, we'll be honest, I don't remember much. I think I'll just follow most of you guys anywhere. I have to <gasps> read a bunch of things. Um. Yeah, yeah most of it's you just some um, uh, like fun games and you know like people trying to sell you stuff, like magic items and you know that monarchy. Uh, the invisibly... animation is called the Witcher of the Cycle, and that doesn't start until sundown in uh, Mount Passim. You visibly see like the dots connect in G's mind, and he immediately like lightens up. Oh, festivals! Yeah, like a lot of people walking around with a lot of money, G. Very fun. Um. Okay. Um. Steven. Hmm? G. Anyone, I guess. Um. If you guys go to any shops or anything and need to buy stuff, um, I have a bit gold on me. Just uh, eh, uh just, just behind me. Uh, I I will be uh following behind most of you most of the time. Uh, okay. Right. Reading to catch up on. I have enough money, but thank you for the offer. Well, yeah, uh, cl uh, class is doing the thing now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go. Shoo, shoo. He's got like he's got like these mental classes with his other, uh, with his other squires, where they do magical classes. Blew him for like a solid twenty minutes, just cool. out of existence, and goes to like class in the arc in the. In the Celeste. Oh, that actually shit. sounds dope. Like a like a class that does like um like shadow boxing. It's, it's, in, the, it's in the astral plane. Mm hmm Shadow magic. Could be in a limbo, but yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. Well, I'm making that I'm making that cannon. That, that's that's canon. For what? me in my world. <laughs> okay. So what are you y'all gonna do? I guess oh, we're heading to the festival, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. As you exit the building. Uh oh. <clears throat> Nightworms! No. Uh -huh. As you look out upon the kingdom of Riften, you see the bustling streets that have been decorated in tapestries and symbols of the life and death gods. You hear the playing of festive music blaring throughout the kingdom, holy men of all types traveling in wagons, yelling out prayers and thanks to the gods. You see some fire dancers, merchants, and tourists galore. They have all come to Riften today so that to celebrate the soul fire solstice, a day in which mortals praise the life and death gods for giving them family and good health. You feel the sun's rays beam down upon you. It is the hottest day of the year, and the blazing sun filters through the banners and other decorations. <laughs> yeah. As she walks out, Sarah's gonna take like a coat and she's gonna like wrap it around her waist like, you know, 15 year olds do when it's hot. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna put up his hood. I'm gonna so, embrace the sunshine. The market stands. What would you like to do? What are you looking Where's for? Where's the armory? I kind of want to go there first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could look around for one. I'm just walking out, crack no, my neck, and taking a look around. You should always go left. Steven. The left. Steven. Mm -hmm. You wanna go look for an armory? Sure. Alright. Uh. That's after get, these people. I need to get all reliable upgraded. Shame, but I don't think he's fitting my needs anymore. Hello? Hello? Huh? Oh, hello there. Is there an armory where we can buy weapons? Eh, yeah, armories aren't open today. Damn well, it! Oh well. Something about uh, something about some night worms again. Yeah. I swear, someone should really deal with these night worms. Yeah, sadly they're protected under hunting laws. Yep, they're <laughs> also in spirit animal, so you can't hunt them. So, so they're allowed to burn down towns, but they're protected by hunting laws. This doesn't make any sense. It's eh. broken to religion, buddy. <laughs> Princess of Riften for that one. This is, this is why I hate Riften. <laughs> it's an armory vendor, maybe? Yeah, no armory oh, vendors. There's a clothing shop across the way over there. He there's points a what? over. There's a clothing, a magical clothing shop around there. He points over to one of the stores. If you're looking for something uh, close to armor, I'd go there. 
I oh. want a medical suit. We all need medical suits. <laughs> are there people? Are there people walking around? There are lots of people walking around. Uh, as as I as I like kind of pass through people, I'm gonna keep my money like close to one of my hidden pouches, and I'm gonna right. try and like pickpocket someone. Like, all right, roll sleight of hand. Oh God. Uh... Um, you uh, am I using my psychic talent? Mm-hmm. You tell us. Yeah. I need to no. learn to spell. Oh, that's a twenty. Uh, sleight of hand. That's a twenty-three. All right, you get one platinum out of somebody. Pog oh. champ. <laughs> Damn. Uh, and I, I activate. I activate my. No, I don't activate my sugar blue. <laughs> and that's me. I, I, I look right. at it and like just hide it in like my boot. Yep. The the festival is yours to enjoy. All right. I guess we're heading so, to. You look good. Uh, what are these guys? Are these, are these two like children running from this? Mouse no, they're, they're just. Ugh, she's not a mouse at worshiper. It just it's just her mother trying a uh, mother trying to control her kids. Huh? You need your kids yes. controlled. No oh, God. <laughs> That's uh, not so weird. Sally <laughs> just like not commenting on that. <laughs> just. Well... That's kind yeah, of why I'm, I'm heading in the opposite Sally. direction. I'm not. I'm. I'm going this way. G G actually can't see where Steven and Talia are going because there's too many people and he's short. Uh, so he's just gonna get lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. All right. We'll, we'll start with the. We'll start with the clo- people going to the clothing shop. Right, need to find it. There we go. <clears throat> All right. You walking in? Hell yeah. Alright, you walk into the shop. It's a very large shop, and the banner above it says Nitwit. That's the name. Nitwit? Uh, it's a knit- oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, the uh, counter over here, there's a camera doll uh, uh, man. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome. Please have a look around. I'm going to have a look around. Alright, uh, roll me investigation to see what you find. Bruh. Oh, well, if I fail this, I could just ask. Yeah. Uh, d20? <laughs> that is a 26. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, you basically find all the magical items that are offered here. You, you find a pair of leather and fur boots that are black and gray. You find a cowboy hat made of brown and <laughs> You find a pair of goggles with green shaded lenses mm-hmm. and silver and brown rims. And you find an odd pendant, an odd gold and black pendant embedded with a single diamond. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what these things do? I'm just like, ah, show around. These are some of our finest items. He, uh, pulls over the boots. These are boots of the Winterlands. Uh, they're made in, uh, made in Hawana. Mm, they're pretty, uh, nice. Uh, Anita forgot to pull up the magic item list. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember what they do. Damn, I haven't gone shopping in such a long time. <laughs> Of the winter lands. Ah, yes. Uh, these keep you from getting cold. Ah, and especially, you can walk on any parts of ice and snow with it. They're quite mm. helpful when you're in uh, places like Hawana, where there's a, a lot of snow around and difficult to traverse terrain. Alright, alright. What about the and other things? This is a hat of disguise. <laughs> this is quite fun, actually. This, while wearing this hat, you can disguise yourself at will. <laughs> it's quite fun. I, I'd recommend this one. It's made from Kamal. Yeah, well, Kamal. Also, then keep an eye on the session chat, because Lilim's talking. Uh, I'm aware. Oh. Oh, God, hold on. What the fuck, Discord? Hello? Bruh. Hello? Uh, Discord? Uh, oh fuck. Can I get an F in the chat for Nan? 
Oh We're God. not streaming. Hold on. It's it gave me a pop up for Discord and it's lagging up my con entire computer. Okay, okay, I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Oh, oh, that's bad. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm, I'm and back. This this pair of goggles uh, helps you see in the dark. It's not really useful for most people uh, in in the aisles, of course, but uh, it is definitely uh, useful for uh, more less dark inclined people, I'd say. And this here, he pulls up the pendant. This is the most expensive item here. It's called the Pendant of Wealth I made of myself. And basically, with this, you can double the money you have. For one full gold coins, you can double. What? You yes, can. Yes, he puts on the pendant and takes out two pieces of gold, and he, and the pendant glows and he, the glowing shoots over to the gold and it doubles instantly into four gold. Yes, yes, this is quite expensive though, but also quite useful. I'd say it's definitely worth the price. Hmm, I'm really vibing the hat and the pendant. How much for? How much are each of them? The hat of disguise is 125 gold, and the pendant is 250. Hmm. But if you're gonna buy both of them, I'd be willing to bring it down a little. I'm willing to buy both of them. How, uh, how low are you saying? I mean, how low are you, uh, thinking? Ah, I'll bump it down to, uh, 300. Sure thing. <laughs> All right, all right. You get you pay up the money and you get a hat of disguise and a pendant of wealth. I will send you the pendant of wealth card. I have seven gold now. We well, no, I have platinum. Never mind. <laughs> it only works works with gold. All right. There you go. Nope. Hold on. Loading. There you go. Looks like I'm done shopping for now. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, hey, little. Do you have any questions? Yeah, little. Uh, what are your questions? Little's not. Little's not. All right, I forgot. Oh yeah, he's he's deafened. Well, I'm good for now. Thank you. No problem. Have a wonderful day. All right. Whose turn is it now? Alright, we'll go over to, uh... Hmm... Over to Mange! Mange, what are you up to? I have no idea. Honestly, I just didn't want to go All with right. them. So I'm just kind of right, walking we'll around. Yeah, I'm just kind of walking around. Searching. Okay, we'll go over to G. Can you send me the hat of this guy's too? Oh yeah, hold on, give me a sec. G, what are you up to? He's also... He's muted. What? Okay. Oh me? Yes. Yeah. You. Oh, I thought I thought we were going to mange. Uh, I'm just going. I'm. I, I. I obviously lost where Sally and Steven went, so I ended up going to the like the biggest thing around me, which is this funky looking All right. thing. You walk up to the stand, which seems to be some sort of game. There is a lady standing there cheering on uh, her friend, who seems to be holding a scythe, slashing at a bunch of dolls coming up from shoots that are located over here. And he I... misses quite a few uh, dolls, and he says, Ah, fuck it! It's okay. Let's go. They uh, walk off with no prize given. Ah, oh, hello there. The Game Master walks up to you. How can I help you, sir? Uh, what game is this? Ah, oh, this is Dun Dutton Scythe. It's a simple slashing game. Would you like to try? Sure. Come, come then. She invites you up onto the stand and uh, starts to explain the game. This game is simple. You take a scythe and slash at the dolls that pop up from the small cannon that shoots over there. The goal is to slash the dolls with the symbol of Dante on them. She shows you an example of the symbol. You must avoid all the other dolls. If you slash the correct doll, you gain a point. If you slash the wrong doll, you lose a point. Simple enough. And if you get up if you get enough points, you earn gold. But it's a five gold entry fee. I give her Ooh. Uh, 
Ooh. Um, uh, b before I give her the gold, I'm gonna look. Does anything seem fishy? Uh, give me a perception check. Cause, uh, let's be real, carnival games are kind of fucking sketch. Yeah, they uh, are. That is... Ooh, that's a... Uh, perception, it's a 14. Nope, you do not see anything wrong with the machinery or any- nothing seems wrong with the scythe that she's handing you. I give her five gold. Alright, you have a scythe. So to play this game, you will roll 2d10. First one will be the first number, second one will be the second number, and how, ma how many that dice is determines how many points you get. Okay. Uh, roll 2d10. Two two. And and Two D ten. That is a four and a seven. All right, so forty seven. You start slashing and slashing, but you, as a small goblin holding this pretty big scythe, you're you're kind of off balance and you miss a few. You lo you hit a few of the wrong dolls, but you still get a total of forty seven points by the end of the game. Well done. Here you go. And she hands you twenty gold. Wow. Okay, realizing the amount of profit this could generate me, I give her five gold back. Oh, <laughs> all right. Going again. She <laughs> she flips the levers to activate the shooks. Roll me another d10, a two d10. Uh, that's eighty four. Eighty four. Oh, you have gotten way more used to this very quickly when you realize you're getting a lot of money. And so you slash and slash, you barely miss a few, and you end up getting most of the dolls. Well done! Even better than before! She hands you 60 gold. Alright, I'm going in again. Alright. There is a limit, however. This can only be the last one you can participate in. <laughs> I, give uh, her, I give her, what? like, a, a, a glance, and I, uh, I go once more. That's 59. Or 59. 95. Your choice. Uh, te technically, it's like... Yeah, it's it's, it's your choice. Whichever one flip first, I'm gonna save the 9 flip first so you get 95 points. Oh, wow! That was perfect! You got pretty much every single one of them. And she hands you another 70 gold. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to limit that. <laughs> uh, it, it's completely fine. It is completely fine. Are there any other games like this? Oh, there's plenty. I suggest you go over to that game over there. It's quite prof profitable. All you have to do is guess how many gems are in the jar. And they give you money, uh, give you the entire jar if you get the number close enough. Can I stand on your shoulders? I can't see. Oh, yes. She, she actually uses magic to pick you up and float you into the air. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, I look That's around. You mm. see a couple carts, you see a cart that seems to be selling some, uh, some bitters, you see a cart over here that's selling some drinks of some sort, and you see a tug-of-war game going on back here. And a very fancy-looking shop right here. I'm gonna go to the fancy-looking shop. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, like, jump on people's heads. Uh, oh. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> Do an acrobatics check. I'm good at these. Um, I'm gonna use my wild talent for this. All right. Because, uh... Okay. Yeah, good thing I used my talent, because that's a 13. All right, 13. I'll say you're able to jump off a, cro a couple of people's heads, and then you kind of just fall onto the ground around here. <sighs> then I just run. All right. I got you a are... fucking good haul, guys. You I got 130-something in... gold. Walk into the shop. Above the shop has a sign that says Dragon Eye Emporium. You walk in. Oh, welcome! A Luxodon wizard-looking dude appears over the counter. The entire shop is very high-end looking. It's decorated with artwork and tapestries of dragons. The floor is brimstone and the walls are made of black sandstone. Although most of the artwork and tapestries covers it up. The place is laid out like a jewelry store, although it only displays a couple of accessories, as it seems most of them have been sold out. Welcome, come, come! Hi. What can I help you with? What do you sell here? 
Ah, well, I sell all sorts of dragon goods. Specifically, uh, necklaces, bracelets, and rings that all have powers of dragons and you didn't do them. You have any, uh, you have any, uh, weapons? Uh, no direct weapons, however, some of the items here can cause harm. Yeah, guys, I uh, should be back in about, like, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, because we're getting ready to start painting our kitchen. Alright. So, well, yeah. I do, I I'll do like myself. harm. Here, let me show you my stock. He pulls out a bracelet, a necklace, a ring, a circlet, and an earring. Now see this one. He points to the bracelet. This is made from the dragon scales of a copper dragon. It's quite useful when you you can attack someone with it, and it slows them down. This one, the ne oh. he brings up the necklace. Ah, uh, this one it has the power of a blue dragon. It can deal lightning to your opponents. This ring here, he pulls up a white plated ring embedded with a pearl. It is made out of white dragon scales. You can summon a an ice knife. It's quite useful, I'd say. One of the more expensive ones here. This one, he brings up a circlet. This is one of a bronze dragon. And this one can knock your opponent into a tornado that swirls around uh, roughly around 30 feet. It's quite useful in combat. Also a pretty expensive. And this one is the most expensive item I have in the shop. He pulls up the earring. It's a black and green plated earring embedded with an opal. This is from a cry dragon. A dragon of Olrevine. It's quite powerful. I barely was able to get this. And this allows you to raise your defenses by quite a lot. So, what do you think? How much for the earring? The earring is 160 gold. Can we go down to 140? Roll me I'm, a persuasion check. I'm such a poor goblin. I, I look at me. I'm, I'm wearing like I'm wearing cloth. I, uh, <laughs> persuasion. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? Come on. Oh, persuasion. That's an 18. I suppose I can lower it to 140. Deal. And I give him 140 gold pieces. All right. You get an earring of cryo fury. I will send you the item. Yeah, would you like any of the other items? Nope, I'm fine. Ah, I'm all right. Good. Well, have a great day, sir. You too. There you go. Who's next? All right, uh, Mange, are you wandering anywhere? No, he's also muted. Great. Uh, How about no, you, no. Salia? I'm here. Oh, you know what? Here, let's see what Sally is up to. Salia, what are uh, you up to? So I'm, I'm. This is a stand, right? Yes, that's a stand. Okay. Ah, the hello there. Ah, oh, hello. The sa stand is covered in tapestries and cloth. The symbols of Fuhoki, the god of well-being, hang from the tapestries above. Accompanying these symbols are fresh, dry, fresh and dried fruits hanging in the sunlight. Ah, oh, what are, can I? You... Is this um, a herb? A herb store? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I sell fruits. Dried fruits and fresh fruits from my homeland. Ah, uh, what, what is your homeland, if I may ask? Ah, I come from, from Gazar, just one aisle over. We have quite a bit of flora, of interesting flora and fruits there. So I came here to the festival to sell them. It's quite uh, profitable. Hi. Would you like to see some of my stock? Um, sure, if I can recognize any. Yes, yes. Alright, she pulls out a bundle of berries, a small gray, small gray berries that fade into a purple color. See, I have some fluey berries. She pulls out, she pulls out a nice pink heart-shaped fruit and also places it on the cart. A keratu berry. And... This huge thing, and she pulls out a watermelon-sized fruit in a star shape, and slams it on the cart. 
Should yes, I roll yeah. like survival or nature to see if I recognize any? Yes, you may. Alright. And that is an 11. You don't really know much about these berries, but you have heard of fooey berries. They are, they taste like grapefruit growing bundles on uh, vines. Uh, you had a garden of one once, but it dried up pretty quickly. They're very hard to keep. Oh, no. Other than that, you don't recognize the other two uh, fruits. Um, sure, I'll have some of the fooey berries. How much? Ah, the fooey berries are one silver for a bundle. Um, uh, I'll, uh, I'll have a, I'll have a three, three of those. She hands right. three silver. She hands you. She puts three bundles of fooey berries in a brown fabric bag and hands them to you. Yep. Thank you for your business. Oh, also, no. I should mention that the berries, especially, are very helpful since they grow from my home island of Gazard in certain climate. It is slightly magical and can give you some uh, interesting properties. Nothing harmful, of course. I would never sell such a thing. But you might oh, find what, it what useful. Properties? Is it like wild magic? Doing knowledge to you. What, <laughs> so like the boost your memory or stuff? Yes, yes. It could be quite useful in that game over there. She points to the game of this game over here, which you can't really see very well. I would highly oh, suggest good eyesight. and then, uh, you know, trying it out. Could win some stuff. Um, would you be interested in any of the other fruits? I also have dried oh. versions for rations. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take some rations actually. Do you have any um, vitamins? Oh no, if you're looking for vitamin things, I'd go to this cart over there. And she points over to this cart. Yes, she, yes, she sells uh, bitters. I couldn't see the... Uh, over there. Alright. Okay. Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. Have a Shit. nice day. It's a tug of war game. <laughs> yes, there is a tug of war game. Okay. Uh, before, uh, Steven, what are you planning to do next? Uh, what is He's this? Disguising as Lilith. Oh yeah, I'm disguising what? as Lilith because... Uh, it fun. seems like a giant hay maze. Oh, maze? Yes. Sounds scary. <laughs> Should I, I try there's it? There's no reason for you to disguise it, me. I'm literally just following behind you. <laughs> What's the point? It's funny. Yes. Oh, hello okay. there, sir. If Sally was there, Sally would giggle. Would you like to participate in the maze of Limbo? Sounds scary. Sure. Yes. But there's a big prize at the end of it. Ooh. Well, all you have to do is get through the maze and get to the end and claim the prize. No one else has figured it out yet. Alright. The entry, so the entry fee, fee is, is what gold? Four gold per person. I'm gonna take out. Oh, I don't even have four gold. <laughs> I mean, I do. I'll give them four gold. Alright, you give them four gold and they open the small hay door that is sitting there. So you're just Yay. walking them to a maze? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> have fun. All you have to do is find the black stone stairs and you can continue to the next part. Alright, I'll right. lead you through this. This is the one I wrote the most scripts for. <clears throat> Alright, All right. me. What do? As you walk through the maze, you see that only one path isn't blocked. It leads to a set of stairs. As you walk down, you see in front of you a long, stretched hallway, but as you walk down it, you nearly fall into a pit that was hidden in the shadows. Stepping back, you see floating platforms that move up and down, side to side, in intricate ways. Below these platforms is a green and black net, ready to catch a fall beyond the plat- And beyond the platforms, you see a bright light shining at the end of the hallway. Oh, it's parkour! <laughs> oh. Our would you like to try and cross the Pit of Death? I'm gonna activate my Blade Song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna attempt to do that. It's an acrobatics right. check, right? Yep, dexterity check. Hell yeah. Wait, dexterity or acrobatics? Dexterity. Damn. Journal checks. 
I have... Uh, 13. Ooh, you just met the DC. Okay, yep. You make it to the other side of the dark pit. As you do, the platforms move into the entrance of the underground maze, making a wall that prevents you from returning the way you came. You walk forward into the light, and you find that you are in another maze. This one seems to be decorated with torches, burning white flames. You start to walk toward the maze halls, but you feel a slight shock reel up your spine. You recoil your feet back. You don't seem to have stepped on anything. But you see as the flames of the maze brighten near a specific path, it seems you might have stepped the wrong way. And for this, I will, it's basically, for this maze, it's the same map here, but you're starting here. Alright, uh, so remi remind me what's happening. Okay, so basically as you step forward, well you step forward a little bit, but as you try to go, uh, right here, you, you get shocked by something and the, uh, the fi flames on the torches light up this, go going this way. So. Hmm. Make me a con save. Damn. Alright, uh... Con save... 11? Yep, you barely make it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then you begin to walk the other way. Unless you are opposed to that. And you walk through, you walk through, and once again, you step the wrong way. Make me another con save. Oh, can't Dormy go first? <laughs> Damn it! There is no difference between the paths until that's you nineteen. Off. Yep, you make it, and then you walk through, and then finally, there is no door here. It doesn't seem so. You go to walk this way, and once again get shocked. Roll me oh. another con. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Oh fuck! That's a three. <laughs> Oh, um, you fail. Make it a 10 no. and then add your con. Oh, oh, okay. That's a 13. Yep, you make it. <laughs> Alright. You follow the light through the maze. You get shocked a few times while doing so, but eventually you make it to the end. The exit leads to a wide open room in the shape of a dome. You could have sworn there was no way it could be this big. The room is decorated with candles. Some lit, some half melt, and some aren't lit at all. They float around the air magically, but as you look around, they start to start winding and turning across the room. They never seem to stay in one spot. In the blink of an eye, your whole head is spin spinning. You stumble and trip on yourself. Uh, out of the corner, as out of the corner of your eye, you see the frame of a door. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy! Come on. Uh, is this is this like char magic, or is it just a wisdom save? <laughs> It's a wisdom save. It's illusionary magic. Oh. It seems. That is a uh, 13. <sighs> That's uh, not a save. Damn. <laughs> Barely. Alright. Alright. You are unable to Do we save. know what the reward for this is? Uh, they said it's a very, pr a very expensive reward. That's all they said. Uh, make it a 19. Okay, yep, you save. <laughs> you the magic of the gods, you are able. You close your eyes tightly and start making your way through the room. Ignoring the pain in your head, you push through. Somehow being able to see see the room with your, closed, with your eyes closed, you get to the door and open it. There lies a set of stairs leading back up to the hay maze. You walk out and see, sitting on a pedestal, is a very expensive looking pyramid prism, reflecting the light of the beaming sun. As you pick up the prism, the wall behind it moves away, and you are back at the start. Oh. You are rewarded with a hundred and sixty gold prism. Oh, fuck, that was trippy. <laughs> As, as you walk out, the guards clap like, Oh, the first person to make it through the maze today. Good job. Willem uh, has, like, in this time, he's made, like, tea. He has, like, a drink. <laughs> he's, like, reading a book now, and he has, like, biscuits and all that. And he's like, um, statistically, you owe me half of that. That's, that's fine. I, I need a break. <laughs> he looks um, like he's a bit of vomit. Would you like some tea? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna chill here. And get some tea. You All guys right. can get some too. 
I've got nothing better to do. Alright, who should we go to next? Uh, G? Zempier? Or CFK as well? Yeah. Amp? I think he's AFK. What do you want to do? Alright, Salia, what are you doing? Uh, uh I'm uh, popping, you know, I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm popping like a bunch, because I bought like, you know, a bunch of them. Hey! Um, I'm popping them into All my right. mouth as I well, one hour you get one point to your int. Okay, that actually makes a difference, because her int's 11, so she now has plus one. <laughs> Alright, what you doing? Uh, I'm walking to the vitamin store. Like, is, is there a queue here, or are these just people no, they're around? Just they're just chilling. Oh, how can I help you? There's an elven woman at the end of the cart. Welcome. Uh, hello. Um, I'm just a humble monk, and I'm looking to um train my body. Is there any... uh? No, any any herbs that you might be selling? Hmm, let's see, something uh something strong. Well I have some bitters that could help. I have a rim and a lunar bitter, which is promotes good health and strengths bo strengthens bones. All my bitters are about five gold. Alright, uh, so how long do they keep? Uh about one year is their shelf life. Huh? Okay. And what else are you selling at the store, madam? I have these Kinla and da Dinran bitters, used to cleanse uh, the body of bad spirits and magics. Also used in soups to help get over small illnesses. I also have some uh, herbs of each type. Uh, let's see, we have a, some Kinala herbs, we have some Dinre herbs, you know, the usual. Your common herbs. Would you be interested in some of them? Um, I'd be interested in the first few you mentioned. Uh, so, can you say the name of the first one and type it out because it's a complicated name? Here, I'll put it in the chat. Don't mind that. Berlin and Onion Burger. I cannot pronounce these names. Yeah, those can players. I have some Grimmel Lion, please? Of course! That'll be... Uh, how many do you want? Two, three... Um, I'll well, ask you about six of each. Um, ten of each. Ten of each? Ooh, that's quite a, that's quite a lot. Um, ten of each, that would be... Math... Thirty gold a for... A hundred gold? Yeah, yeah, a hundred. Yeah, one of that Yeah, that's a hundred. Hundred gold. Yep, and because I'm buying them in such a bundle, that's a discount, right? Give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. What do you mean? That's how discounts work. Yeah, but don't sound like an asshole about it. <laughs> how did I sound like an asshole about it? That's a discount, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't think that I was sounding like an asshole, but all right. Alia is always an asshole. Can I turn into a pickle with this guy's self? Um. Yeah, it's eleven. Uh, I'll say I can bump that down to seventy-five. Okay, that's fair. All right, you pay seventy-five gold and get twenty total bitters that actually do nothing. What do you mean actually do nothing? I have no magical properties, I mean. Yeah, have a nice I have... uh, You too. I'm surprised y'all actually went your separate separate ways for this. Why? Were you expecting everyone to do the maze? <laughs> I was expecting everyone to group up, or at least yeah. two group something. Uh, yeah. Well, um, after I finish uh, having the break with Steven, <laughs> because I'm always on break, Oh, what's over here? That is seems to be a slashing game of some sort. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, I want to see where all the people are. All the people are over here. Oh. I'm kind of <laughs> forcefully bringing Steven along. Uh. <laughs> all right, you walk up and you see that some people seem to be yelling out numbers. It seems like a guessing game. Okay. And someone ends up getting the closest number, and they get an entire jar of gemstones. Wait the fuck, we don't get a guess? 
No, this was the game before you guys came over here. Oh, okay. And they walk off with the with the jar of gemstones, and they pull, and the P game masters up here pull up another jar of gemstones and place it on the table. Who's entering next? How does this work? Ah, simple. All you have to do is look at this jar of yellow and orange gemstones. Uh, whoever guesses the correct number or the closest number to the to the jar wins. It uh, has quite a bit of value, these gemstones, so I suggest uh, guessing very closely. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, sure. so you right. just have to eyeball it, right? Okay. Mm. Yes, can yes. I help Lolo? Yes, you can give Lolo advantage. Steven. Hell yeah, I will. Sally, are you doing it? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, everybody make an intelligence check, or, you know, little, little, little get advantage. Yeah, I didn't even roll those. Rolling... oh wait. Oh my <gasps> god, natural <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see what's... He, well, what did you roll, Lilum? Uh... Yeah, close. Check. Yeah, it's intelligence. 22? Yeah. Alright, well that just... Uh, so, uh, you, well, you got yeah, you got a natural twenty, but you only have plus to, one. I'm gonna cast see invisibility and see if they're trying to fuck us. All right, you cast see invisibility and they're not trying to fuck you over. Fuck. <laughs> All right, Celia, you guess the number two hundred and sixty-five, and Lilum, you guess one number above that. Two hundred and sixty-six. <laughs> And and the the man points at you, Lilum, and says, "You got it right, sir. Well, you got it close to right. Two hundred and seventy-six gemstones, all worth all together, they are worth a hundred gold." And they toss you the jar of gemstones. Epic. Now you can add a hundred gold to your character. I give twenty-five to Stephen, and I give twenty-five to Sally. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. And they pull up another jar and start doing another game. Damn. 285! <laughs> he just- he yells that from like across the room. Like he's walking away and he shouts it. And... I don't know. <laughs> this is the right thing. Well, make it up and tell him he's got the disadvantage. Well, the first is a natural 20. Can I give him a regular shit? Well... What? The first one's a magic 20. Well, I give him a regular shit. Check, sure. If you somehow get this... If I get another 20, I'm gonna be surprised. Fuck. Oh, that was yeah. so close. No, they said you were way off! Look, I'm not even looking at it. Yes, as you walk away, you just continue the game. What would y'all like to do next? Or what's main uh, hey, still? Mitch, are you alright there? You're just staring off into space. Oh, well, never mind. Mange? Mm -hmm. Is he even here? It's the main jet. Epp's back. Maybe you can do what he's doing. Uh, I'm just kind of like milling around. I guess I'll go up to this shop here. All right. You see there, standing at the shop, that there is a apling woman. Ah, uh, welcome. There's a what? Apling a woman. A woman. A inkling? No, apling. apling. Like monkey. What does an apling woman look like, man? They are monkey people. They are. Humans, but monkeys in between. They're in between the human to mo monkey to human transition, basically. Oh, hello. I'm representing her with a tabaxi because uh, they don't make apling uh, dials, so. Welcome, how can I help you? Would you like to try some of my drinks? Uh, what are in the drinks? Because I'm underage. Oh, these are magical. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I can't hear you. People are laughing these at my funny quip. These are magical smoothies, my friend. Very helpful. Give you nice benefits. I have Goblin, I'm, I'm sorry, but goblins can't digest smoothies. Ah, I assure you, my magical concoctions are quite digestible. I don't trust magical concoctions, and I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Yolosa! No, I think it's my win. 
I am. Okay, but... and... Because there's and four of us here. And I'm the asshole. <laughs> oh, so G, G definitely is an asshole. Oh, I'm yeah. just less of an asshole than you. He's not rolling for anything. <laughs> well, right. uh, from what I can see, I'm pretty sure there's only two things left, right? Hello, mange. You here? Mange. You're a little, uh, you're a little, you're a little stone faced. I <laughs> <laughs> get it, cause you're a Goliath. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's go check out the thing out of the road, and then uh, we can make our way back down and check whatever the thing. Uh, sure. Of, uh, is. Oh, that that place, pointing to like the the glass place. This this here. Yeah. Oh, they sell jewelry. So I got this nice little oh. earring from. Oh, I, yes. I was. Uh, there's a was... food stand which sells rations, by the way. You might want to get some. I don't eat. <laughs> but I want to pick up the jewelry. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, I mean, look at this earring. It's pretty cool. And apparently, I I, I, I raise my hand up and uh, like a like a shield of greenish bluish energy. <laughs> I can do that. What? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just from this ear. Okay. It's kinda cool. I'm gonna look at- I'm gonna go and look at the jewelry, I guess. <laughs> I'm following. <laughs> Alright. I'm also following. Walk in. Oh, he notices G. Oh, welcome back, my friend. Hello. Oh, I'm I back. See you. Come, this come. is my friend. I'm back, come, guys. Come. Look at my Sorry about that. Hello. Uh, we're in a jewelry store now. Oh, that's yep. fun. Um. Ah. Yes, yes. I still haven't sold any of the other jewelries. If you'd like to look at them again. Wait, well, no, what are my jewelries? You can, you guys can go watch. Yes, yes. I have this bracelet, this necklace, this ring, and the circlet left. Your little friend over there bought my cryo dragon, my uh, earring of cryo fury. This bracelet here. He brings up a copper plated bra bla bracelet. This can help you slow down your enemies. This blue necklace here, it's a blue scale-plated necklace. It allows you to summon lightning and also slow down your targets. <laughs> this, this ring here, this one's very rare since it's from White Dragon. This allows you to cast, he wears the ring and swirls it around and an ice knife appears in the air. Hey. Yes. Please. I kind of want the necklace, but I'm already wearing a necklace. You are too, it. right? No. And this circlet here, this can summon a tornado around 30 feet long, and it pulls down anyone within it, and can knock them uh, off their feet. Quite useful, also a little more expensive. Well, what do you think? So the one that, that casts lightning? What is that? Cast, cast lightning that? is the necklace of blue fury. Okay. The one that, the one that slows. Hmm. It's the one that slows. The one that slows is the bracelet of copper fury. Okay. Uh. Does it require concentration when you use it? No, it does not. Okay. How much is it? The bracelet of Copper Fury and the necklace are both a hundred gold. The ring and the circlet are a hundred and twenty-five. Well, yeah, I don't really have much planning for the enemies to get up close and personal with me, so I'll take the, uh, the slowing thing, ah, Copper Fury. Copper Fury, alright, that'll be a hundred gold. Yes, here you go. You hand him a hundred gold and you get a bracelet of copper, 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 bleh, copper fury. A bracelet of carpal tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one that she's lighting? It's that the is the necklace of blue fury. Oh damn! I assume I can't use two necklaces, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can. I just, I just say I don't want to wear two. Oh. oh. You can. I'll wear two. That's a hundred, right? A hundred gold. Uh, do you accept this? I'm gonna give out the, uh, gemstone, the 160 gold one. <laughs> oh, that is quite ex that's quite more than you need. How about this? I'll make you a deal. 
I will give you both the necklace and the ring for that. Oh. Uh, okay. Sure. That's a, <laughs> That's a discount of 40 gold. Yep. Mm -hmm. He takes right. the first and give, you get a necklace of blue fury and a ring of ivory fury. Do we have these items on uh, hmm? the Beyond or no? No. I just I'm checked, okay. no. Yeah. Do you have I any earrings? Ah, no, I sold my last earring to your little friend over there. All I have left is the circlet. Hmm. Everything else is reserved. The circlet's a tornado one, right? Yes, yes, summons a tornado. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a demonstration? Like, how much? How. <laughs> no! I would not like to demonstrate this, no. It would very much tear up my shop. I thought this bracelet did something else. I thought this bracelet cast, you know, spell slow. Slow. <laughs> As dubbed by the name. <laughs> All the bracelet of Copper Fury, it's not a slow Yeah, slowing. but it slows the enemy. <laughs> slows the enemy, in quotation. I thought it'd been like the Eldritch Blast, where when you hit something, it slows yeah, them down. Know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It He's oversimplifying the, uh, what it does, exactly. Well, would you like the circlet? It's, it's 125. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, you pay up a hundred and twenty-five. Yep. Kirby, I did send you the items. It's in your chat. Oh, my bad. I didn't Wait, get notified. Um... You get a circlet of copper fury, uh, Salia. Well, I guess... So, we covered most of the things, haven't we? Um... I guess the uh, last thing... Attack of War game, which is Attack of War game. The, it's only afternoon. The, uh, the ceremony, the ritual, of the cycle isn't for a long while. It's until sundown. So, mage, that seems like your kind of thing. I'm gonna be real. Um, I don't. Yeah, that don't works work. for me. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah. Is there uh, like a dance or anything, like anything more besides these festival games that we don't know about? Oh, there, there are. There's some on on top of the Mount Pus Pusane. Okay. Well, There's another section of the festival, which is smaller, but... Let's go check out the Tech of War, and then we can, I guess, eat lunch and then move on. Yes, food. <laughs> yes, food. Yeah, you haven't eaten yet, right, right Lilum? No, I haven't eaten. Oh, oh right, we're two Lilums. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why is there a second Lilum? <laughs> I don't... I, I still don't understand. He, uh... Mm. I removed yeah. the hat and just show it, Steven. What? <laughs> what we should be asking, G, is why is Dormy following one? Listen, I only registered Dormy's existence like half of the time. I think that kind of goes for everyone here. We all kind of forget Dormy just exists. Lulum's just like holding Dormy and he feels so offended. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just speaking facts. That, that's, a go <laughs> that's a goblin word for truth. Oh. Yes, so fact, cool fact is a common word as well. Well, well but like in goblin, we spell it like F-A-X. Facts. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's a go- it's, it's like goblin speak. Yeah, anyways, let's go check out the tech of Mm-hmm. Let's check it out. Is everyone coming? As you walk up to the tug of war game, you see that two, uh, four people are already playing it, and this side immediately gets pulled into the mud as the this small group wins. Which this side, uh, game master goes over and picks them, and then these guys walk off. It's a fire huh? hazard. So it's the only tile I could find. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> Bye, fire hazard. <laughs> Oh my god. How, how can I help you? Would you like to play our tug of life and death game? Ah. Oh, Wait, if you. we lose, we die? No, 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 no. It's just the name of the game. You see, uh, very simply, you just uh, 
three, one to three people grab each side of the rope and try to pull each other into the mud. If you pull, if one team pulls the other team into the mud, they win. Alright. Is there like fun? an opposing team? Yeah, it's per person. Is there an opposing team or is it so far just us? Ah, there's no other people here. Most people have already uh, played the game. So, you could split into two teams and play against each other. Bro. Me and G, you go on one side and then uh, us three will go on the other. Well, why me? Yeah, door me. <laughs> Fucking small, and he's really fucking big. All right, mage, you go in the front. Of course, of course. Right. You think I, they I can beat you. us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are positioned on the life side of the uh, on the life side of the. Of Is this the like foreshadowing? <laughs> that mage and I are on the death side. And we are set. You guys hmm. are set on the death side. Alright. Mage, you I feel like this is like foreshadowing or something. Ha the ha it most the likely is, but whatever. Is on, this area, this part of the sand are white, while this part is black. Oh, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh god. And this in the middle here is gray mud. I I play pot of green. <laughs> Alright. Alright, each of you. Okay, yeah, everyone on each side you pick, so... His his third book, which is a card collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, Jesus. he's just gonna like as as main just pulling. He's just gonna like walk over here. <laughs> Stop. Are you not helping? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, does he really <laughs> need <laughs> to? I'm, I'm gonna act like I'm pulling, but like I'm just kind of like gonna okay. step. Alright, alright. Who? Okay. Dorian's gonna help like, main. What team are you? Who is making the athletics check? One person um, or two people? Oh yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. Major, you're gonna have... rage. You will, you will make an athletics check with advantage, Salia, since you have the higher, more people on your team. Yeah, I and have Major, you'll make it just so. normally. Can he right? rage? Not if Major rages. Yeah. Xander is gonna stop, but he's a half-orc. He yeah, likes it. He's my bonus action to sort of like, sink uh. my beat him. Sure, Salia. Sure. Alright, All right, make a posing, uh, Salia, you make- Everyone yep. make athletics checks. Well, not everyone, just Mange and Salia. Yep, I'm raging. Alright, at advantage for both of you. <sighs> come on. <laughs> 13 and... Um, you didn't- Okay, hold on, wait. Right, so it's a 13 plus 4, so that's... 11 plus seven. 4... Plus Battles seven. the modifiers. 13 plus 4, what is it? Ah, math! Oh, it's 18. 19 plus 4? Or... 18 plus 4 is 22. No, it's 13 plus 4, it's... it's 18. 17. 17. 17. Mange, what did you oh, get? No. Well, his would be 11 plus 2 from... from... Rage, so Plus 4 for my base, plus the no, 2 per, per, to, uh, per to proficiency. Okay, type in your total numbers in the chat. Isn't it what he was doing an athletics check? You guys yeah, are doing an athletics check. I thought it was a strength yeah, check. Yeah, well, he took the athletics. Which is why he adds the plus 2 from Rage. Yes. No, that, that gives him advantage. Wait, you, get... you only get a plus two bonus when you attack something. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got advantage from range. You didn't get plus two, so... Oh my god. As you both try to pull each other into the dirt, you are- you both- you're- but these guys on this team and you only mange, you guys are equally matched as you almost pull e you both almost fall into the mud, but catch yourselves. Oh mage! Come on, I'm trying so hard here! Make another athletic Get check. on Get on the rope, Maybe damn it! Both with advantage. I've been on the rope. He has advantage, so yeah, and mange both roll with advantage and then you add the tires. That's it. Come on! Oh. Yes! <laughs> Woo! 
Woo! You have to, yeah, that's uh, Oh, boy. Wait. No, even with it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down. I don't even think with the 20. Oh. Wait, no. What's your total? Uh, 24. Yes, I still win! <laughs> yeah! It was all because of G. As you <laughs> for another tug, Salia, Steven, Lilum, you all try your be best to hold your ground, but Lilum, you slip in the sand and fall to the ground. Steven soon after follows, and it's just Sally against Mange, and for a while she stands her ground. But soon Mange does a full on pull, and only Salia gets pulled into the gray mud. <laughs> I give her yes. a high five. Oh. Well, I, I give I give Mange a high five. That's what's That's what's very entertaining. Here you go, sirs. He gives the death team a hundred gold. Oh my god. Each each? A hundred gold total. So you so. G you I, get twenty five, I get seventy five. I, I was I was gonna have you take the whole thing, but if you want oh. to give me twenty five, that's fine. No, I'll take oh, the entire no, thing. You... I'm taking the entire no, thing. No, I did this myself. I did this myself. No. I was helping. You had one hand on it. I, I mean, that's still enough. <laughs> <laughs> one and one <laughs> eighth of a person versus three people. I'm good. Or You're two, two technically. Gold. Yes, I'm taking the hundred gold. I'm just trying to find a pencil. I got one somewhere around here. Uh, here it is. I got yes, it. You clean yourself up with the sand. I oh, walk oh. over. Damn, guys, you got beat by a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh yes. Oh yes, a negotiator. <laughs> I um, Lilum, Lilum, and Steven, you two did good jobs. Did we uh, cover? Everything also now my. Oh no! I, I want to do the limbo thing. I mean, I kind of want to do that again. Against all of you. What? No, I don't want to do it again. My I have rope friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be willing to try again, but I doubt everyone else. I'm gonna go try the smoothie stand over there. I'm really thirsty. Honestly, I could go for a smoothie. All right, to the smoothie stand. Let's go. I need Steven with a hat now. All right, you walk over to the smoothie stand. Ah, welcome! Come, come, come. What would you like? I have three different drinks you can try. I have my topsy turvy smoothie. She pulls up a uh, orange chunky smoothie. It smells like ginger. I have this glossy glass. It's a clear, crushed ice texture. It smells like lavender. And I have this nightshade brew. It's a black and purple Slurpee-like thing, and it smells like watermelon. I'll take the lavender one. Ah, glossy glass. That's one gold. Okay, is it just one gold for all of them? Mm, no, the nightshade is two gold. Oh. Wh which one do you want, Ange? The nightshade, actually. Okay, I'll pay two gold. No, it's, it's fine, it's fine, I got it. Okay. Alright, well, um, you get a glossy glass. You, uh, get disadvantage on strength checks, but advantage on wisdom checks for one hour. Damn. <laughs> Not charisma. And then for the nightshade brew, you have disadvantage on con checks, but you gain advantage on stealth checks. Oh, fucking... Wacky, Shit. for how long? For one hour. Oh, advantage on stealth and survival checks. Ooh. Forgot about survival. Ah, yes, would anyone else like a drink? I'm sorry, uh, but I told you goblins can't swallow smoothies. Yeah. Uh, Lilum, as you drink the glossy glass, you immediately feel even more drained of your energy than you were before, but you feel oddly philosophical. <laughs> and maybe oh, God. Screen, but you feel like you can sneak around places places a little better and maybe track something. What Guys, is tired. I figured it out. I figured it out. 
Uh, Everything hurts, but I know where the dolphins are. <laughs> <laughs> where are they? Make, make me a history check. Uh, oh yeah, I, I ended my rage after the like after uh, that. 41. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know that dolphins live on the west coast of Regal Brook. So, so, so you guess yeah, what? Figured it out. <laughs> yes. We oh, yeah, have a oh. house in Regal Brook. <laughs> you have houses? Like multiple? Yeah. yeah. Lillian, I guess. Talia, Pretty much everyone but G has a house somewhere. I have a hut. Well, um... I, I think. Wait, no. That got burnt down. So, um, how, how long has it been? Uh, it's still, like, late afternoon. I'm, I'm and going so to you have a little bit more time to go explore as you see that some carts are going up to Mount Pesame where the ritual should be taking place in the stadium. Okay, uh, let's let's go have Dark do the limbo thing, and then we can go up to wherever. All right. I'm gonna relax Dark. somewhere. May I take a short rest? <laughs> yes, you may. Well, Dark's doing this thing. All right. I'm do that Dark. as well. He's all over. chilling here. To the hay maze. Ah, welcome to the limbo maze. It seems they switched out guards since the last time uh, Steven was here. All right. All you have to do is get through the three challenges of the maze, and you get a prize at the end. Alright, sounds like it'll be fun. Alright. We're gonna skip through this a little since we've already done the whole thing. Make, with make like three wisdom saves, a con right. save, a strength save. Okay, you go through, you find the the hallway, uh, make a dex save. Dex check, not save. A uh, dex check. Oh, fuck uh. me! <laughs> <laughs> You immediately fall through. You immediately fall off the floating islands and into the net, and you get teleported back up to the start. Go again. Oh, well, you have to pay five gold for an entry, or four gold. I mean. All right. So get... All right. Okay. Uh, can I go in again? Yes. Yes. You have. As, you can have as many tries as you like. Yeah. So Sally is. She's annoyed at that and annoyed at herself. You so pay, you pay gold enough your gold and you're let back in. You go back to the hallway, make another dex save check. Do I get an advantage because I'm expecting it? No. Damn it. That's a that's a barbarian thing. Yes. Okay. That, that's um. That's a nineteen. Yep. You make it past. Yeah, you know, the they close up the hallway and you go into the next room. Mm -hmm. All right, <clears throat> you go into the next maze. Uh, give me three con saves. Okay. One at a time. Um... A. Yeah. Um, that is plus four, so that's um, a seventeen. Yep, you save the first ones. Do it again. Yeah, 16. That's a 16. 16, that saves. One more. Oh. Uh, that's a 14. You barely save as you get to the end of the maze. And you're led up into the surface after you got chucked by a couple of magics. Alright, now you're in the time. room of death. Wisdom save time. You better roll fucking eye. Alright. Oh my yeah, god. That saves, uh, That's pretty high. You walk up and you see that there is a prism sitting on a pedestal. You get a 160 gold prism. Yes, yeah, Sally is like, see, see, I, I, I proved myself. Yes. Sally, I want my 25 <laughs> Even gold. Even after I lower 20 on like three of these games. <laughs> I want right. my 25 gold back. Alright. Anyways, uh, Willem's gonna go buy some bitters. Alright. And he's just gonna buy, like, a bunch of random, like, food stuff for, like, cooking. Alright, we'll say you can- I'll say you can spend, like, 50, uh, gold for ten- for, uh, like, six bitters and some rations. 
So you'll get ten rations and six bitters. Mm. There you go. Alright, so what are y'all planning to do now? Uh, I'm, ch I'm vibing. I'll follow wherever the party goes. I'm vibing, I'm yeah, vibing with Steven. I think after we're done vibing, whenever Sally comes back, we're gonna go to the other half of the festival. There's another half? Yes. Well, well it's more like a quarter. Hey, but... so do you guys wanna go check out the Witcher of Death then? You mean it's not gonna happen for another, cycle? like, two hours. Well, it's, it's not gonna happen for like another two hours, but all the stands move there, so there's gonna be more people and probably more more items and stuff. Yeah. And we wanna get good seats for the stadium. Well, that's a problem for me, because I'm short. Well then we just climb up high. True Okay, well um <laughs> I'm gonna ask around if there's like any place, or, like, I, I already asked this before, but Lilum's like actually going in to be like, man, I really want to do this because I'm bored. Is like, is there any like ball places or dancing? Uh, there doesn't seem to be any. No one yeah, can recall okay. one. Mm. I didn't know that you wanted to do dancing. If I did, I would have made one. Well, um, what are we gonna do for two hours? Well, I'm gonna climb. We are on the mountains. Um, how far away is the mountain, man? Mountain's about like a half an hour walk up some stairs to the courtyard of the stadium that's on top of the mountain. So, and usually there there are more there's more expensive like items and carts there. Well, I'm gonna head up, I gotta head up to uh, the mountain. It's half an hour walk and eek, an hour in an hour and a half of like the other items is easy I, manageable. I guess we should do that then. Um, that works for me, I guess. Alright, so you probably have should there? tell the others. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Hmm? I'm gonna... Since it's gonna be a, quite a walk, I'm gonna see if I can... Ooh, did, did I cut off? Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can roll a... Uh, something I can ride in with... Oh, you have been easy your bag of tricks? My bag of tricks. Alright, roll well, dice! Go, go, Somebody... gadget. Bag of tricks. <laughs> I have a goat. <gasps> Who can, can ride that? Me! Well, G can, can have it. Me can ride it. G can Steven. ride it. Thank you, Steven. Oh, oh. I appreciate walking, this again. Let me try again. <laughs> Guess I should let Sally try the rest of the stuff. I have a lion. Can I ride that? <laughs> a lion? A lion. Yes, you can ride the lion. Can I ride it too? Since I'm small? Mm, no, only one person. You're the goat. <laughs> oh, 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 I thought the goat was gone. Have... No. No, I get multiple. Oh, shit. You get three. Y'all socialize. Yeah. Uh, while, we're while we're walking by, Lulu just goes like, 236. He's not even thinking anymore. He's just shouting numbers at them. Like, he just <laughs> shouts a random number. Oh, God. Let's be purposefully Uh, well, gonna... that's like, uh, 13. <laughs> They throw you one gem that's worth five gold. I'm gonna try and pickpocket someone. Uh, can you find Jordan 86? <laughs> Roll me intelligence. No, I'm God. gonna try and pickpocket someone while walking away. Okay, pickpocket someone. Uh, that's a 19. Why are you- why are they you- They throw you a small jar of gems that's why, worth- Why are you using Kirby's roller? <laughs> Wait, what? You're using Kirby's roller, Dart. Oh, it doesn't matter what roller I use, they ain't individual rollers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a two, uh, sleight of hand, that's a 25. Like, so many 20s which didn't matter in the slightest here. Well, I mean, it's D&D. &D. Natural 20s yeah, yeah, don't really matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got a 25. 45, they also throw you a jar of gems. No, 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 I was, I was pickpocketing oh, someone. Oh, pickpocketing someone? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, like, he's not that, he doesn't get, like, a plus six bonus to Int Man. I am aware of that. He is not a smart boy. He's not a smart boy. Okay, you, uh, you're able to pickpocket someone for another platinum. Yes, the platinum is growing. I'm at 30 platinum. Oh, I accidentally hit Control-Z, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Because I'm trying to hit Control-X. To delete things. Okay, there we go. You're just deleting all of the text? 
Because they're going up to a different section. Yeah, just... Just... Do this. No! Uh, no! I wanna keep yeah. the- Nan, if- Nan, if, if, if you think it's gonna be easier, just get the raw image of the- the oh dear. Like, the- the table background or whatever it's called, just draw over it and use that as different- One day. I don't know this technical stuff. Okay, what it's not te it's not technical stuff. You're just I don't know how to do tabletop. Okay. I, it's we can teach you. It's you go to you go to <laughs> objects, tables, custom table. Not the yeah, it's it's fairly easy. Yeah, we can do it. It's like session. it's simple, and yeah. the only reason you don't no. get it is because you refuse to get it. Yes. Circle. <laughs> So basically, we can take a break right here while I draw this. Okay. Break time. Break time. I need water. Excuse me, it's water. Water? <laughs> Sorry, what? it's water. What? You get your water from zinc? I'll be back. I'm gonna grab a water and some food. No money. Yolo, Yolo. Yeah. I'm over here. Oh, okay. It's my no-no square. Inside a no-no <laughs> bubble. Wow. No, no X. No, there's three. Now there's three defenses. <laughs> I'm about, to, I'm about to add a fourth. <laughs> you almost had it. <laughs> you almost, almost had it. Almost. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. <laughs> oh dear. Oh shit. I haven't essayed you today. Oh well. <laughs> you have to do that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, like you you can you can bang out a ten page paper in a couple of days if you're decent. So just be decent. Smile. I've done those things before. The yeah. hard part in high school was uh, I took a speech class. You know, public. Oh. That was hard. Um, in in at Rowan, public speaking is a required course for everyone to take. So that's I'm gonna take that sometime soon. I was kind of scared for it, but now I'm just kind of like, oh, cool, it's public speaking. Eh. It's more like I can't half-ass this compared to anything else. <laughs> Oh man. We have two hours? We have two hours for the session, and there's not much left. Yeah, that's the problem that I find with um, roleplay sessions. They kind of end a little bit early. Yeah. Stop taking it too fast. <laughs> Listen, man. Sometimes your party just don't want to talk. Yeah. I feel like we're pretty talkative as a party, but it's just you think you think so much time passes when in reality it's only been an hour because you're doing like eight different things at once. Yeah. Like you're going to this game and then to the next game and then 
that. Yeah, it's like maybe if maybe if we all banded together and each took individual turn at something, it might. But in reality, we split up and we went to one thing, and then no one else went to that thing again because we already been to that thing, right? Well, and even when I went to the window thing, you, you were like, "Oh, let's speed this up because someone else has already been to it." Well, yeah, I didn't want to see the repeat the same thing again. I was expecting you to go into that as a group. Or like at least three, two, three people. Bringing you together as a party, I'm trying to not uh, have y'all end up being- We're pretty close, right? <laughs> it feels like it, at least to me. I mean, yeah. my main, she's like, when off in the zone has been sort of grumpy, I guess. Yeah. Mm. It's just, uh. Mm -hmm. Is that all of them? Take it from me, you don't force these kinds of. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna force them, but. Just saying. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he's in the no no square. Oh dear. I can't wait for someone to attack this festival. <laughs> Save. Combat, combat at the end of the festival. Then it ends in a cliffhanger. Well, with how short the session, well, with how short, like, the shopping part was, but it's probably, like, not a cliffhanger, but we do the combat now. Maybe. Well, I feel like we could just talk for a fair bit. Yeah. Okay, so, I, okay, so what, what is she gonna do when the festival gets attacked? He's gonna bolt, right? Oh, well, if there's a good incentive for him to fight, he'll fight. Is puts me like in the incentive is not dying. Uh, I mean, G's kind of already thrown his life away. <laughs> Money. Money's a good incentive. <laughs> oh, I need to ask Lilum to teach me cure wounds. <laughs> GTS should have like I'm a almost, I'm almost done drawing this, don't I don't worry. think I can teach you cure wounds. Why not? <laughs> It's not a wizard spell. Yeah, it's not a wizard. Oh, spell. really? You can you can only get you can only transcribe I, it to I, your book if you got it as a spell scroll. Yeah, I I particularly got it purely because I asked Nan, being like, "Hey, we don't have a healer." Yeah. Seeing how last combat went, I kind of need. Think I, can, I don't think I can teach people. Oh shit. Okay, I'm back. So that's Nan. What? Oh no, never mind. I already read it. Uh, are you gonna make these items on D and D Beyond? Eventually, yes. Cause you gotta do the same with the shards of amplification. Yeah, I'm aware. Uh, we'll do them eventually. Uh, oh my! Uh, Dart might be excited about this person. Would I be? Uh, yeah, she has pretty good items, so. <gasps> we can kill her. I <laughs> broke. Yeah, try it. <laughs> Oh, I thought this was a shop person. It is a shop person. Wait, is this a coliseum? Uh, this is the courtyard of the stadium. We're not actually fighting, right? No. Oh, I didn't know if this was like a thing where like- oh, it's a For the ritual of the cycle. It's a religious, uh, like, area. Yes, there is a skeleton woman there. It's a skeleton link. It's the only one I could find that was a skeleton, okay? Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna quickly do something and then I'll be back, probably get more water. And then we'll start. Mm-hmm. Well, I was banned. I was enough. We did.
dance. And... Good talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said how was Ben? Oh, it's alright. That's so, over now. We didn't really do much. So, Steve, so, Kirby, is it Steve with a PH or without a PH? Oh, with a PH. Okay. L is L for L the L way you lose. Wait, does Bubba Joe have a PH? Wasn't what? Does Bubba Joe have a, have a PH? No. He has a PhD though. <laughs> What did Brother Joe get his PhD in? Pain. <laughs> oh, I'm a doctor of pain. What the hell? I see. Oh. I'm just a sucker for pain. Extraordinary is even more than any that you can love. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, uh, if we walk, yeah, do we get ambushed by nightworms? No. So we arrive at the Coliseum. It's not Coliseum, the stadium, but okay. Stadium. Audio, Col Coliseum, stadium, eh, potato, potato. Oh, I forgot to Coliseum. Potato. Wait, Coliseum is Coliseum with stadium at the end. Coliseum. Now we're ready. Yes. Anyways. I'm ready at least. Anyways, you guys start walking up the stairs to the mountain. Uh, most of the trip to the mountain uh, is uh, centered around the stairs. It is a, it is a very uh, steep, uh, very steep walk. Uh, you're very scared of falling over uh, this because there are no breaks in between the steps and such. So, and, uh, but eventually you make it to the top, uh, in the stadium, stadium's courtyard. Yeah, where you uh, I have a question for both Kirby and G. Did you, right. cli did you climb up the stairs on your mount? Cause, like, I don't think mounts do stairs. Mounts can go upstairs. They're like goats can do Goats can do stairs. Goats, goats can. Really climb Lion, I'll say it's a little more difficult. Oh, I'll send you see, like two brawling rings right here. I forgot to put the characters in. I'm pretty sure goats are good with steep. Goats like, are good with climbing yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, goats are amazing with that. Uh, like, so Lions? And she, she has having no problem with this. As you walk up the stairs, you see another platform right where I'm putting these characters now, and people are pushing each other over from the. It seems like a sumo wrestling game. This seems like your kind of. This seems like your kind of thing, Mange. I remember doing this in my hometown. Oh, with Magam again. Maganam again. Okay. Well, um, you know, do you want to take part in it, Minge? Nah, I'm good. Okay, ah, well, I will. Be nice for ones to not take part in it. People would always challenge me, and I would always beat them. Alright, Salia, are you par participating in the the game? Yeah, she is. Alright, you walk up, the game master looks at you. Ah, hello there! Would you like to participate in our sumo wrestling game? Ah, yes. Can you please tell me the rules? Ah, it's simple. All you have to do is try to grapple your opponent onto the ground. Your trophy is uh, 20 gold, and you get 30 gold if you win. Um, okay. I'll, I'll try it. Someone over there waiting for some competition. No? Yeah? Okay. Alright, you pay up two gold and you go over. Alright. You and this other part rando will make strength checks against each other. Um. Uh, yeah, can I make. It, can I make like a dex check to escape the grapple, or is it just a base no. strength? No, yeah, it's purely strength based, and once someone has you in a grapple, you have to make a strength check to be released, or stay grappled and lose. But that's not how grappling works, now. That's how it works in this game, Dart. Alright, that's a natural 20. Uh, yep, you easily grapple him, and he's gonna try to get out of it. 
He rolled a natural one. Uh, right. So yeah, you immediately grapple this guy to the to the ground, and he tabs out, and you get paid thirty gold. Oh, all right. Well, that was fairly simple. Is there another? Yes, you can play as many times as you like. Mm, I'll, I'll play one more. All right. Uh, you know and what? Guys, I'm gonna try to beat you. Closing strength. Like I was saying, Mange, um, continue to win. I mean, why not? Alright, that's, um, that's a 13. I'll try. He, yeah, you grapple him and try to get out of it. Natural 20. Plus Hold on. One. Still. Nope. He's out. What? Yeah, I he's think. out. He rolled a natural 20 to get out of the grapple. Oh, are, are you saying that he got out? Okay. I was very confused. Okay. Yeah, I said he got out. Make another grapple check. Now it's a 10. He grapples you. What? Uh oh. And now here's my check to try and get out. That's a 9. You you can't get out of the grapple, and he has given thirty gold. Right, yeah. Ooh. You lose. I only have a plus two modifier, so it's just luck. Right. Going back, uh, you walk over back, and you see there's a uh, there's quite there's quite a few things. There's like four other things going on. There's a couple of market stands and a very big wooden wagon right here. Where? Uh, or you can there, head out. You did win the first time, there's no point of going back a second time. Eh, I, I, the first one did too quickly. I, I wanted to have another go of it. Well... And if you don't... Doing... And it, you know, you you know what? You think good, it means you can get up again. Why not? I'll, I'll test myself. Ah, would you like to go, sir? Sure. The, the guy, the opposing guy kind of sweats a little as he sees that he's not facing a This is just a mere human. <laughs> doesn't seem... doesn't seem very strong. It's fine, uh, I'll go... I'll go easy on you. Alright, so. make opposing strength steps. Uh, that's a 15. So he somehow he pulls you down to the ground and grapples you. All right, make another get out. Come on, come on. Sixteen. Yep, you get out of the grapple. All right, another one. At any time you can raise. Fourteen. Yeah, you grapple him. You try to get out of it. Make a strength check to keep him in. Nineteen. Oh, thank you. Nineteen. He cannot get out, and you win, grab, pinning him to the ground. And the game master pays you gold. Oh yeah, I forgot to pay him the two golds. So let me do, so, uh, do that yes, math. 20. Yeah, let me do that math. Uh, joy, math. Yay! I want to die. Uh, game twenty-eight two. gold. Just do that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we could just go around the. It is a circle after all and investigate each thing individually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's go okay. There we go. Okay. After I win, I'm gonna help him up. Are these just chairs? Right. Yeah, those are just benches. So they're just sitting down. Okay. Cool. Okay, what's the one thing? Well done. It seems to be a bobbing for wava fruit. Wava fruit is kind of just an, a blue apple. Well, I want to try that in real life. Well, then going oh, well done. It's... Would you like to try a bobbing for souls? In quotation. What? Okay, sure. This is a giant door that is closed off right now, G. No, you cannot lock pick it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and do something away from the party so you can go okay. first. Alright. Would you like to try to catch- all you have to do is- it's basically the same as bobbing for apples, you just have to try to catch a wava fruit with your mouth without using your hands. Okay, yeah. Alright. 
So basically how this- Oh, also there's an entry fee of one gold. Yeah, and sure. basically what you must do is you must succeed on both a dex and perception check. Or make one of them at advantage. So who's- who's going? I'll try. No, yeah. uh, sure, yeah. why not? I'll try okay. first then. <laughs> Steven, make a either a dex or perception check with advantage, or make both of them. Make what? You can either- you can make both a dex check and a perception check, or you can make one of them at advantage. Is it a dex saving for? No, it's, t it's a check. Oh. Or perception, right? Or dex perception. Or... I'll do perception with advantage. Alright. Is the DC lower if you t choose to take both of them? Yeah. Y you're you're fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fuckery no. is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay, Steven, you dive in with your hands behind your back. You cannot see shit. This water is very foggy since lava fruit kind of releases this weird juice. And so you cannot catch a single lava fruit. And Actually, he's uh, one of those people who like can't open the wires in the water because it burns too much. Oh, also that, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. And yes, yeah, so you didn't, you were not able to catch any waffle fruit. Alright, uh, I guess it's my turn. Um, yeah. They're both, the, yeah, they're both the same if they're flat out because my perception's plus five. So I'm just gonna make a dex and a perception check. All right. Here's my dex. Yeah, that saves. Or, well, that beats the DC. And that's seven. You do not beat the perception DC. Alright, you're pretty dexterous, and you actually are able to catch a lava root, but uh, as soon as you catch it, you immediately lose grasp of it, and then you can't find one again, because your eyes are super fogged. You know, you have those weird goat eyes that don't- you can't really see very well in, uh, water. So you are unable to catch any fruit. Okay, so what- I should have went with advantage then. Probably. Does anyone else want to give it a try? Yeah, I'm I just- I'll try it. Oh, okay, so basically- I want to try it. Okay, right. so- Willem goes- will go first. Yeah, if go take, ahead. If I take both- What's the benefit in taking both besides just- Benefit in taking both is that the DC is lowered. Okay, I'm oh. taking both because I already oh. have a natural advantage on perception checks. Alright. So, perception is... Uh, those are double threes. So that's, that's a four. Mm. Uh, and then the wow. dex check. <laughs> Oof. Uh, that's, a uh, 17. You succeed the dex, much like Salia, you- you're- you're pretty easily- you can pretty easily traverse the water, but you just can't see anything. And right, you actually right. can barely feel the fruit around you, so you are not able to catch any fruit. Finally, it's range. Okay, and I'm going to add a little bit of flavor to this. I'm going to stand there, hands clasped behind my back. First, studying how the water is moving and how the fruit is interacting with it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me survival check to see if you notice anything fishy. Okay. Now I get advantage on that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's sixteen. Right. Plus three. 16 plus 3, so it's 19. 20, because that's... Yeah. Oh, okay. One plus yeah, uh, yeah, you know, okay. you notice that because of the... You know a little bit about lava fruit. Their juice is really thick. So when you put a lava fruit in water, it's just... The water becomes way thicker and it's harder to, you know, wander through. So... The guy isn't probably purposefully, you know, tricking you, but it's a little... It's a little tricky, you know. Seems like he needs to change out the water in the bucket. 
for a... Would knowing that give me advantage if I go for both of them? Yes. Okay, good. I'm gonna go for both of them. I'm gonna do... Alright. Okay, Dex first. Seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nope. Mm. Mage, you duck into the water, despite knowing how the water is sort of moving, you're still not able to catch any Walva fruit. Damn. Tricky, this one. Mm -hmm. The water probably needs to be changed, though. I can see it's starting to get a little bit thick. Mm. Alright, I'll, I'll get to changing it. Thank you for uh, the... Have a good day. Uh, By the way, do you have one gold to, for the entry fee? Yeah, Not yeah. I already did that. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm going for... Uh, there we go, hold on. Marking it. Okay. Right. Next, we are going to. Oh, I guess Stephen isn't interested in shopping. What, what oh, this is shop. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Ah, uh, hello. Okay. Not a, much. a little half work, a half work woman uh, peers her head out of, the, out of her uh, weapon. Hello, hello. Come, 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 come here. I have many wares. Oh. Uh, okay. She seems to be wearing the robes of Scorchgar. I am Maya. It's nice to meet you all. Please come look at my wares. I have many oh, okay. items today. But uh, no, what do you have? Yeah. Also, uh, Salia, you notice a bit of similarities, especially in personality, to for her to Scorch Scar. For some reason, she seems familiar. Uh, have, I, have you been to uh, a lot of my? Uh, have you been to Italy before? Ah, uh, yes, I have. Huh. Yeah, um, so is this I like think I saw like a priest like you once. Hmm. How was it? Oh, you knew me? Brilliant, I love that island. So, um, All right. now, what, 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 what wares do you have then? Well, let's see, I have four different items I think you all might be interested in. I have this Helm of Comprehending Languages. She pulls out a simple steel helmet decorated with rubies. I have some restored o ointment that comes from the final land of the giants here. She pulls out a jar of around three doses of green gel, you'd say it would be. I have this ring of resistance. She pulls out a slim silver ring with a color-changing gem on it. And this is one of my special items here. She pulls out a dice set. These are especially fun. She rolls one of the she rolls the dice and a small golem appears, a stone golem. Right there. A miniature one. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So what does the uh, restorative gel do? The restorative gel helps you you restores your strength. Oh I accidentally hit control C fuck. Oops, you fool. Well, that'll give me time to look at- actually look at the magic item. It simply restores your health. It's quite helpful in combat when you need a little pick-me-up from, you know, possibly getting uh, bashed in by a couple of things, maybe accidentally got uh, shot out with fire. <laughs> yeah, and you have three of those, right? Well, I have one jar with three doses in it. And how much is the jar? Uh, one, this one jar is, uh, 200 gold. It's the most expensive thing I have. Damn. Well, um, we will we'll probably need it at some point, right? Do you want, do you want to, should we split for this? I don't have money. <laughs> well? Do you want to split, split, split for this? I'm up for it, but I'd rather check out the rest of this, the other shop before we go and just spin stuff. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yes, yes, Actually, please come around, I can hold these stocks for you, so you can determine what exactly you want. 
Um, uh, Sally is going to have a what, look at like, sort of what wood the cart is made out of. The cart seems to be made out of uh, oak wood, which isn't very common in the Isles. What's the Ring of Resistance? The Ring of Resistance. Here, let's see. Uh, Ring of Resistance. Well, it's simple. All you have to do is uh, activate the ring and you get uh, resistance to a random uh, a random type of uh, damage. So you oh. could be resistance to acid, you could be resistance to cold, psychic, radiant. It's random. <laughs> yes, yes. Alright. Uh, do you have any spare oak wood lying around? I, I like to carve my own boomerang. Oh, sadly, no. Uh, I used all the oak wood I had to craft this cart here. Oh. Ah, that's a shame. <laughs> so, how much will the ring? The ring is 190 gold. Hmm. Um, I think we'll have a bells. You'll have a what? I think we'll have a browse. Alright, all right. come come back anytime. I'll hold some of these items for you. Have a good day. Oh, thank you. They are quality wares. <laughs> thank you. Go on to the next shop. Whoa, what? Okay, uh, what's what's she doing? doing? Yeah, what's... Uh, what are you doing? Me? You uh, I'm just practicing and seeing what that earring does. So, like, a couple of questions, like, how does the earring form the shield? Is it, like, an actual earring, shield? Is it something that covers the body, or...? It's just, like, a small shield that appears in front of you, like, in the shape of your body. Can like, I put my hand through it? Yes, but, you can. But other or when I put my hand through it, does it, like, stop? No, it doesn't stop for you. But rather, the, actually, the hand part of your shield, that hand, the shield moves forward with your hand. It's basically okay. creating, like, a flat 2D version of G in front of him for a shield. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, after seeing that, I'm just gonna go sit down and just watch the party. Keeping right. an eye out, making sure nothing else You happens. walk up to this stand that seems to have many different desserts on it. Hello! You see a small lipen woman, who are rabbit people, pop up from behind the large cart. Hello, welcome, welcome. Are you, would you perhaps be interested in some of my desserts? What do you have for dessert? I have some pie. She, she points to some of the items on the cart. I have a, a sundae and some cake pops. I'll take a cake it's pie. quite beneficial. This pie here can make you more wise and all that jazz. This Sunday makes you more healthy, ironically. And, this, and these cake pops help you be more dexterous in your actions. You know yeah, what? I'll take... It's only temporary, right? Ah, oh, yes. It only lasts for an hour for each. I'll take two cake pops, please. Alright, that's for two cake pops, it will be four gold. Okay, here you go. <clears throat> As you bite into the cake pops, it tastes exactly like a vanilla cake, but when you look into it, it's actually tofu. Oh god. <laughs> Is, everything... <laughs> Is everything in this damn <laughs> town tofu? <laughs> And you get uh, advantage on dexterity checks for one hour. So, guys, we want to go tr go back and try that again. <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, I'll take a piece of pie. All right, you pay two gold and you get a piece of wisdom pie. It's a mini pie filled with white and pink tofu. It tastes like cream and strawberries, and you get advantage on wisdom checks for one hour. All wisdom checks, I should uh, suggest, so basically everything related to wisdom, dexterity, all that. Mm. Well, would any, uh, of, would any else of you like some? I'm alright. Hmm. 
I'll pass. Let's move on to the skeleton. Have a good day. Oh, hello there. You, you, you guys seem a little, you're a little on edge when you see a skeleton because skeletons are kind of iffy eh. when it comes to culture. But she, eh. she seems like a nice skeleton, and she's wearing the robes of Alishiza and Zanhemru. Ah, welcome! Please, please, come take a look at my potions. You see that her cart is just filled to the brim with different kinds of potion bottles and different liquids floating in them. Okay, well, what do you have then, I guess? I have a potion of Seter's Sah beauty, potion of hill giant strength, a some healing potions, a greater healing potion, a throwable poison potion that I made myself, and some water breathing potions. Probably okay. just the healing potions. We could definitely use those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um. I'll buy two. Common or greater? Uh, I guess it's one in one. Okay, that would be eight, 180 gold. <laughs> so Are you paying what paying I have right now? Uh, How much money do you have? 180 gold. The entire party. Oof. <laughs> Is there any way you could attempt to cut it down a tiny bit? Roll me a persuasion check. Yeah. I don't know what I ate in correspondence of the amount of drugs it just took. Do I, do I get advantage in a persuasion? If it's wisdom. Uh, well, it's not wisdom. Anyways, uh, 25. 25, okay. Uh, I'll bump it down to 120. Sure. Alright, she, she pulls out two bottles, one larger than the other, and she hands them to you. In yep. a small box. Would you like to take a look at any of my other potions? Uh, no, I think I'm fine. Well, what about the rest of you? I have no money. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. I'd, I'd rather make buy my own strength than have a temporary thing boosted. Boost oh, all right. Well, so what was the thing you were looking at, Salia, in the other shop? No, uh, the, the, the ointment. Okay. Yeah, it's got like three uses and it heals us, so it would be <laughs> almost as effective as a heal healing potion. And how many uses does it have? Uh, three. She, she said three. Okay, well, I guess we can go over there. Yeah. Uh, hello again, oh, miss. Fuck. Welcome how, much, how much money do you have on you, Salia? Um, I won- I went and I won the limbo thing, so I have like a decent amount, but I also want to save some. Okay, uh, well, um, I can- I can split it- we can- I can split it like 50-50. So, um, you said the- the ointment was like three uses, right? Yes, yeah, three uses. Well, yeah. um, if you could, um, potions around that would cost 150 gold, right? Wait, is, do you think an extra 50 is a bit too much for it? Oh, no, no, no. Nowadays, some people will sell restorative ointments. She does in quotations. Most restorative ointments you usually see aren't real. This one, however, is. And it's quite valuable. Well, yeah, how, how much? How powerful is it then? Well, let me go find the thing for it. Restorative ointment. Restorative ointment. Well, uh. It regains quite a bit of health compared to the other ones. For example, normal restorative ointment gives you 2d8, uh, this one gives you 3d8. 
of hit points back. Okay, sure, I'm fine with paying 100 gold. <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, oh yeah, sure. I'll pay 100 gold for this. We'll, we'll so you two are me. splitting the bill? 100 each? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright. You get a jar of, uh, you get a restorative ointment jar with three doses in it that uh, add 3d8 instead of 2d8 plus 2. So you said you got this yourself from the giant? Yes, no, yes, I did. Oh, okay. I thought giants were like titans or the gods or whatever. Yes, they are. Huh. How do you manage that? Well, I just went to their city in uh, Hawana. Oh. They have a city? What's of course they like? do. Uh, it's quite large, <laughs> hard to traverse. <laughs> but it's quite fun there. I'd suggest going if you're ever in Hawana. Um, well, whereabouts is it? Like, I, I think it must be quite hard to get to. Yeah, you have to travel either hop between the aisles or take a long boat ride, but uh, it's quite worth the trip. Alright, well, if I ever go into it, I'll try and make it there. Hmm. Would you be interested in any of the other items I have? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have the funds. Ah, I see. Well, I hope you have a good day, man. Uh, of course, you too. Alright, what, what time is it in real life? Uh, uh 4 o'clock for you. 4 o'clock! Yep. Okay, so we have an hour to the session. I think we're in the end game now. This is R2. <laughs> no, it's not R2. Well, um, I guess we should just wait until the door's gonna open. Appear, and she's gonna have the final shin, and she's gonna have the infinity gauntlet, like, HA! YOU FOOLS! <laughs> no. Oh, <Okay>. Oh, God. <laughs> So are y'all just waiting? There's like 30 minutes before the ceremony Yeah, we're just waiting. Ready to let people in to the to actually, the actually, stadium. Actually, I'm gonna go do the... Potion thing yeah. again. Yeah, I'm gonna do, the, okay. go do this oh. one last time. So like, actually, hey guys, make opposing strength checks. Okay. Yep, there it is. Eighteen. Yep, you grapple him. Ten. He gets out of the grapple. Okay. Fifteen. Mm. He puts wait, you no, in wait. the grapple. Wait, no, wait. Okay. Thirteen. Wait, thirteen? Oh yeah, yeah 13. he still puts you in a grapple. Okay. So? Ah! Nine? Uh, you cannot get out of the grapple and he wins thirty gold. Well done, my friend. Well done. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, um, are you I'm gonna gonna walk up. time or what? What? What are y'all doing? Uh, I I'm gonna walk up to your Scorch Guard match again. I'm like, oh, uh, actually, excuse me. Um, do you sell any weight? Weights? Ah, uh, no. Okay. If you really want weights, you should go to Tyon. They have the best ones there. <laughs> they said they said it was like a twenty-five pound weight, and that was for a hundred gold, like. That's, well, that's, uh, uh, the weights uh, in Tyon are magically inclined, so they are a lot more expensive, and you know, the Emperor's high rates now. It's not great going great at Tyon. Used to be a lot prettier as a city. Yeah, you're quite travelled then. Yeah, yes, I've travelled all around the Isles. I've even been to Winifred, the mainland. Huh. Uh, yeah. I think I have a friend from Woodford, but have you ever seen an um, arcane genasi, uh, five six with long black dreadlocks and a like a regal blue outfit, blind in both eyes? I remember seeing s someone of that nature in how oh, I was it, uh, probably Krasala or Gazard. I remember. Okay, Krasala or Gazard. Uh, thank you. 
You're very welcome. Yep. All right. So, as you guys are chilling, sitting down, the gate, the large door, yellow and black stone door to the stadium opens up, and uh, two guards are positioned. In the it seems like it's just a, a little right. a little bit longer until the ceremony starts. Yeah, well, we should find our seats, then. <clears throat> so from this point on, actually, is when I wrote the most script, um, so... Nice! Someone should wake up Steve. <laughs> but, you are uh, not uh, by the fact of, uh, the feet of people walking around. I slap Steven. Uh... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, sorry, like, punches you in the show, they're like, hey, wake up. I'm oh. not enjoying too much of this because it... Uh. Uh. Oh, you, were you asleep too, Steven? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that was I a good slap bench. Jesus. That was a good bench. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Are you guys entering the stadium? Oh god, I'm actually young. Yes. Uh, I think I think we'll stay out here for a bit longer. Yeah, uh, yes, we're going. I'm going to the stadium. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get really narr narr narrator e. So <clears throat> prepare for a long one. Oh god. Um, you walk uh you walk up to the door and then it's wide open. People are flooding in from all angles. You two walk in and see the wondrous interior of the building. The roof is wide open and two giant crescent-shaped pillars rise from both the east and the west side of the building. They are ornately carved with magi lettering and the symbols of the gods of life and death. The east pillar is decorated with tapestries of the death gods, while the west has tapestries of the life ones. In the middle of the stadium lies another pillar, but on this one lies a clear square prism. Hanging from the pillar is the tapestry of Papete and Alrain. You find seating in the perfect spot. You can easily see both sides of the sky. As you do so, some people dressed in robes in different of the different life and de death gods walk up to the to the pillar in the middle. <clears throat> They are the nobles of the life and death gods. Out of the corner of your, your eye, you see the, the royals in the stands above. Many of the royal families have come to witness the ritual of the cycle. The nobles and the royals nod at each other as... As... Ugh, as the royals sit down. What? The person at the head of the no nobles steps forward. He is a tiefling man dressed in the robes of Alrain. As he do does, the crowd cheers in excitement. Please, please, may your speaking be silenced. On his command, the cheering, pi cheering pipes down as be he begins the, to speak. The again. nobles of what? Nobles of life and death. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to the Ritual of the Cycle. While most of us begin the year at the end of the previous, we, in light of the traditions of Papete, do not consider the year to start until we have witnessed the rise of Jelva. Through this next, through, though this next day may be troublesome as the gates to other planes open, we still wish to pay our respects to the Fallen Gods, who have lived in our skies. So, since we cannot delay the turning of the planets, without further ado, the prince backs up to the rest of the group. And and in less than a minute, Papete fully sets in the west, and from behind it you see the bright star of Chalabob. The star is aligned perfectly in the middle of the crescent pillar on the east. And on the east side of the stadium, you see that the twin moons Elizima and Earthan have also aligned with, with the other crescent pillar. A flashing beam of light shoots off from Chalibov, Chalibov fr from beyond the atmosphere. It flows freely toward the twin moons, and the beam bounces off the moons and is directed back at the planet of Bardis. It lands straight into the middle of the square prism. The light flows like wa- the light, the light illuminates the entire stadium for a split second before the light is sucked into the crescent pillars. The light flows like water throughout the pillar, lighting up the symbols carved into them. 
you see the sky above has turned a deep purple and blue color, as the night of the Solfire Stosas has truly begun. The entire stadium cheers uh, as they watch the spectacle. Soon, that festive music begins to play again, as the priest from before steps forward. May the word of the gods never be forgotten. And let us never forget the people who have moved on beyond this mortal coil. For no one is truly dead if you are remembered by the living. May the gods bring you prosperity, and please, enjoy the rest of the solstice. The crowd cheers as people stand up, funneling out of the stadium. The nobles walk out with them. As you exit, you see the nobles are going around, greeting people in the courtyard. And... And so, what do you like to do? I'm gonna try and pickpocket some. <laughs> uh, you, well, you see, as like Lilum during the entire ceremony, he has like stopped paying attention. He has opened a book, and every time you look at him, he's mouthing off the exact words the noble says. <laughs> oh, also, you notice that some other uh, carts from the uh, from the market below have moved up into the courtyard, and there's a little festive, little some festive stuff going on. Yeah, like, Salio's face was, like, narrowed when the member of the past, or whatever. <laughs> Do I know the many of these nobles? Like, no teenager. <laughs> well, then she's not like teenagers, you know, but... Do I know any of these nobles? Oh, you know all of them. Wow. You, you are familiar with all their names, because you've read about them in books and such, and in news readings. They are quite popular, as they are... Sort of the circle of the life and death gods worshippers. They're basically yeah, the main disciples, champions. I assume the god of the heart has a like a relation with god of life and death. So always, I assume like yeah, but and there isn't born. an exact noble for that. There are nobles for the main gods. Uh huh. Yeah. So, yep. What would you like to do uh, as the stadium is being closed up? Well. Pickpocket time. I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna try and steal from a noble. I'm gonna go into one of these, uh, like, bushes and trees. Ah, okay. Jesus. I'm gonna try and go into one of these bushes and trees. Oh, Mara. Yes. I'm gonna try to steal from Miss Mara. I, I don't really know, but sure. I'm gonna try and stealth. I have no idea. I'm gonna try and stealth. Alright, I had a feeling this would happen. Ooh, okay, uh, uh, stealth. That is a, uh, stealth that is a 21. You are stealthy, boy. And I'm gonna try and grab for her pocket. Okay, a little difficult, because she's wearing, uh, wearing armor. <laughs> armor, schmarmer. Come on, come on, if I wanted to steal money... Oh! <laughs> Fucking, that's a, that's Don't a, worry, I'm gonna be more merciful than I thought I was gonna be. Ten. Uh, I mean, you no, 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 no. Be as angry as you want. It's a goblin, the lowest of society. Hey, I mean, he's not, not wrong. wrong. I, I'm not. I goblin. Even, even, man. Even if you want to go through like the goblins are accepted, they are still the lowest of society. He's not wrong. Only because of the. Only because of your clan. Oh, that's kind of racist, man. Out. Yeah, man, wow, that's racist. Hey! <laughs> you're the one who wanted to make that plan. It's not my fault. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, goblins yeah, should, be, lo goblins should be looked down for upon. For some fucking reason. G, in his mind, decides he wants to steal from the richest people here. And goes, and he tried to attempt to steal from John S Sanos, John, S John Sanu's cleric. Uh, and see, uh, immediately as you go to pull on, uh, uh, go to grab and pickpocket her, the pocket falls off her belt and she goes to pick it up. And she's Damn, using pouches. And she doesn't seem yeah. to notice you. And she actually, after picking it up, walks off. Get, get it. It's like that joke. Anyways. <laughs> yes. Which one, which one looks mm. the coolest? Like, um, one down to earth. Down back. to earth, you it would be this guy, who you know as uh, that is Cal Ite, who is Alishiza and Zon Hemru's druid. That's a lot of names. Okay. 
guess I'm gonna go talk to him. My head hurt. Yeah, my head hurt. My head hurty. <laughs> As you walk up, you see this uh, silverback gorilla-like apeling, uh, uh, sitting in sort of a meditative position. Uh, he's wearing a, a loose-fitting pants and a vest. Uh, okay, well, good talk. Black. I don't want to interrupt him. I move on. Oh. <laughs> Don't run, child. Scary. <laughs> oh, he called you fucking child, Yolo. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> That's where. How can I help you? He opens his eyes and looks at you with a zen and calm face. He see he has a very commanding presence as he's quite large for a silverback gorilla. Even. Yeah. Well, um, I'm, I was going to just talk to you, but you seem to have um. You seem to be meditating. I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh no no no! I am I'm just sitting here, enjoying the f music of the festival. It, yeah, it's weird to finally see the celebration. My father talked about it uh, a long time. Like, Wait a minute. Talked about it a lot. Are you focused, kid? Uh yeah. Ah, oh, Ah, oh, it's nice to meet you. He re he reaches out his hand to shake it. Yeah, I kind of kind of give it to him. It's more like <laughs> him doing the most of it. It's, it's like, very yeah, nice to I... meet one of one of Nebula's very rare uh, champions. One of her very rare paladins. It's great to see that some gods are still not forgotten. I wouldn't really call him a champion, but that's. That's okay. You're still on. Um, <laughs> what are the others? Uh, do the others have any like interests to get them to talk about? Ah, well, most of us mostly just talk about preaching and things. However, if you were to talk to uh, to Miss Labie over there, he points over to uh, this uh, to a. Uh, was she a scurrying lady? Uh, what is that? Um, if you want to, uh, a scurrying is a squirrel person. Cool. If you want to talk to Miss Labi over there, I'd suggest talking about fighting or something. Yeah, she. Well, well she used to be quite that, well. That's okay. Adorned. <laughs> I, I guess she used to be quite well adorned, but she's in her older years. I don't really know why I challenged her to a duel, but if that's. Oh, that's her. Oh, that's her. Oh, no. Do I hear this? Uh, where are you at? I'm in a bench. Eh, sure. Yeah, we're, 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 we're on the vibe bench. <laughs> Go ahead, Lilum. Do it. I wouldn't say fighting her, she would definitely beat your ass even in her old age. <laughs> mm. I don't know. She's a quite powerful champion after all. Yeah. Last of Mange the is like, I didn't fucking hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> hell yes! Oh no. 11 Mange health? Not... Mange, you especially would know uh, about Labi because she was kind of like the example of all champions for gods. She's considered among the most powerful champions in the world. So I assume she gets challenged a lot. Yes, definitely. Do her into yeah. sumo thing. <laughs> Do the sumo thing? Yeah. yeah. Sure. She, sure. She has plus five to strength. I mean, I got plus go six. Go go plus yeah, come on, let's go. I'm insane. Let's go. He's acknowledging me. Uh, I'm gonna go move on and go and talk to the others. Ah, oh, it was wonderful to meet you. Have a good yeah. day, Mr. Lillum. As well. So, yeah. Kind of moves on. Uh, Miss, uh, Miss Talia, what are you up to? Okay, so, what was Otto doing? Huh? What, what is Otto doing? Otto? Uh, he's yep. just kind of sitting there watching the, watching the festival go by. He is a, uh, find him. He is a white-furred lipen, so he's a bunny person. And he's wearing flowy robes that pinch at his waist and a masquerade mask and holds a wind fan. And they're all matching accessories, and he seems to have a little Kazmirit sitting on his shoulder. Wait, what's a Kazmirit? Kazmirit are those raccoon chameleon fusion things. Okay. So Sally is gonna walk up and like, ah, uh, greetings. 
and she's gonna do like the traditional monk bow. Hello. He he nods. I'm, at I'm you. sorry. Can we go into detail on what the monk bow is, please? Um, uh, it's like I imagine it's like a special monk bow. You know, like yes. <laughs> like, you know, bow. yeah, like like a monk. Bow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm not. You're not, I'm not gonna explain it. Like, you're not a monk. You don't know the special piece of monks. I mean, you know, I'm multi-class. You don't know. <laughs> you have to be multi-class a monk to understand the monk style. You know? Yeah, I did. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. So you secretly level up in the monk class session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you seem pretty young for a monk. Yes, I am only. Says the fifteen-year-old. <laughs> well, well, gee, yeah, I really didn't know that about my character. Then again, you seem much younger than me. Oh, yes, yes, I beat the monk trials at uh, 12. But, that's, mm -hmm. but hmm, do you have any tips for me? Because you are noble, right? You are much higher than me. <laughs> yes. I am quite uh, high ranking. Mm -hmm. yeah, would you mind having a spa? Hmm, I can, uh, sure. In this crowded area. If anything, I'll do some exercise for you. <laughs> yes, it would. And, uh, uh, I would you my that. abilities are much beyond the rest of the nobles. So, just, I'd say, I'll go easy on you. I'll keep an open mind. Are you challenging Mr. Otomento? Yeah, I am. We don't know right, uh, I get... <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess, are you doing it in the sumo thing, or are you just going actual combat? Because I didn't prepare uh, for him. Oh, I think it's actual combat. Like, like sumo, that's not monk stuff, that's just wrestling. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, I didn't actually make a sheet for him, so I'm just gonna wing this. Oh my god, man. No one NPC we actually fight. Dude, actually challenge. Right. Statistically, this person being really strong could probably knock Sally unconscious in like three hits. I yeah, get like a level can level. do three hits, so. I get like a level 10 monk or something. He's probably like a level 15, if we're being honest. Okay. Okay. Then, statistically. They would have like a D10 damage. Yeah. What's their health? And um, um, so his health, health is 39. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you seriously gonna fight this dude? Yeah. Look, even if Sally if, loses. If, if you, you don't have a C, you just have her have Sally and roll for it. Roll for the outcome. You know what? I'll roll for the outcome. Hey, I'm gonna hey. use my golden snitch dice. Alright. All right. So, in fact, I'm gonna session. do it with advantage because he is probably level 15 or something. Alright, well, I'm gonna. You know. Alright, let's see. High, he gets. Uh, he wins. Low, you win, I guess. He rolled a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, can I Damn. watch see what I learned? Roll, roll for me as well? You can roll for yourself with disadvantage. He does like the Poe skadoosh. Skadoosh! <laughs> <laughs> He's actually semi based off of him, but a lot more serious. Ooh. Well, you you can't, still can't beat him. Immediately, I as you guys begin combat. Have, like, Sally's not trying to beat him, Sally's trying to learn and, you know. Immediately as you begin to fight, some people gather around and watch you two spar, and immediately after two blacks with his, uh, with one of his, with his, a wind fan at, at you, you are knocked into the bushes against the column, and you are knocked prone, and he just says, you're not skilled at all. I was like, oh, 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 damn. You shouldn't yeah. fight battles that you know you will lose, child. Yeah, but how how <laughs> else do you grow? <laughs> Lulum's just standing well, there. It's like... not by failures, because failures could be the end of you. You should probably take those words to you, uh, those words of advice to 
I suggest you move along. If you want. He's like standing with the ape man and he goes like, Why does every time I suggest something, somebody else already does it before me? And he goes and runs over and he goes and heals Salia. Jesus suddenly feels the, the urge to talk to this monk. <laughs> Look, he leans like... against the fountain, giving, letting his uh, Casimir take a drink from it. Are you okay? Ah, yeah, there's no problem. Uh, can okay. I, well, yeah. So how much things? So how much did like Salia learn from that? Like uh, from nothing that? at all. He literally just beat your ass into a column. Hit hard. That's what you learned. He he was showing you how outclassed you were. <laughs> well, I mean, it's your fact, turn. I'm gonna make an intimidation check against you. See how intimidating this guy is. He rolled an 18. Okay, I guess I'm all like a quiz wisdom save. Yeah. <laughs> he's a for such a small bunny, he's very intimidating. Oh, it's like fucking okay. It's an aggressive bunny. <laughs> then, uh, let me help you up at least. That guy was kind of a dick. Ah, sure, He's sure. like those Miata cards. What the fuck? Sally you just do? like, you know, moves her arm, like, that's gonna. Be... Yeah, it's refreshing to see the top, because uh, that's where I'm gonna be in four years. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> four <laughs> years? <laughs> yeah, Maybe a little I'm bit gonna... longer. I'm gonna go talk to Mr. Dante's Inferno over there. Oh, sure, yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Huh. Yeah, unless anybody else wants to do anything. Um, yeah, what's, what's everyone? I'll watch. You'll watch. You'll watch. Hell yeah. Watch Willem converse. Oh, yeah. Alive on the bench. I'm just gonna go do the sumo thing and go up against somebody else. Uh, I'll get to your rolls in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna go try and steal from someone again. Oh god. <laughs> steal from Otto. Otto, you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal from the monk. You're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't notice. We'll do, we'll do G, we'll do G's thing first. Uh, G, who are you trying to steal from? Yeah, I'm stealing from the monk. <laughs> He's stealing from the monk. Otto, I assume. Otto? The the monk. Otto? The monk. monk. Otto. Otto, like Otto. Uh, only a few monks here. Which one? Are you? The one, the one that beat Sally is ass. Okay, then you have to be in the fountain to reach him because he's laying. Uh, he's sitting on the edge of the fountain. How do you hide from this? <laughs> You'll need to like get in the water. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, make a stealth check with disadvantage to see if you can sneak into the. Wait, bathroom. wait, wait! I thought this was him. No, that's the guy at the fucking stand. No, this is Otto oh, right here. The uh, is there anyone else who I can steal from? There's it's actually a lot, people. yes. There's I want there's... to steal from- I want to steal from- Okay, wait. Give me- give me the rundown of who everyone is. This okay. is the apeling. This is- okay. this is the monk. This is the prince who read the serums. Serums. Oh, it's the prince? I'm stealing from the prince. He's a priest, not a prince. You definitely said prince, but okay. No, I said priest. I'm stealing from the priest. We can check the VOD after this is over. It would, he's a priest. Does he look like he's the richest one? Uh, now that I think about it, stealing from a monk one. is kind of stupid because they're like, they don't have money. The richest one seems to be this lady who uh, seems to be like an older lady dressed in... Oh, she's, by the, she's by the fountain. Um, can someone like throw a rock like over here so like... A stealth style, so she goes and checks it out. Uh, you can do uh, that. Yeah. Uh, do that, that yourself. Do a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, she's in a wheelchair. I <laughs> yes. I can't steal from a cripple. I'll steal from the prince. Priest. And that's why I don't get robbed. Uh, so I'm gonna try and stealth. All right, roll stealth. <gasps> oh, uh, that is a nineteen. Alright, you're stealthy, you're stealthy boy. And I'm gonna try and steal from him. Alright, roll well, sleight of hand. He should have advantage, or the person noticing should have disadvantage, because I'm literally going up and talking to him. Like, I'm having this conversation yeah. while this is happening. Yeah. You wanna give me advantage? Um... 24. No. Yeah, you got it. You can pull out, like, two platinum from him. 
Do I pull but out anything of... else? Like no, anything? he just kind of, as he as you steal the platinum, he kind of walks up to Lilum and is like, ah, oh, Lilum. The focus child, a kid, right? Lilo, you probably you probably see G like steal from him. Oh, like, is this the thing? Does just everybody know me now? Ah, oh, well, you're quite known uh, among the nobles. You're okay. What? It's weird. I haven't been to anything like this before. If I'm such. Well, your father talks about you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I expected that from him. Um. So. What else do you do besides just read the the ritual of the cycle? I teach people, uh, newcomers, about uh, the gods of life and death, and I bring upon the testaments of the gods to new generations. <laughs> yeah, my father taught me every word of that, and it's very <laughs> annoying to have in my mind. Uh... <laughs> yes, uh, I sometimes get tired of the speech too, but uh, it's tradition. Yeah, um... I'm just gonna walk by, like, <laughs> like hands in my pockets. Just walk by, little and give him a wink. I did. I just kind of try not to acknowledge like, you. The obvious I go pickpocket as someone walk. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, is there anyone here that is like actually, like, magically inclined, like very highly? Like, I all of us are. Well, yeah. But most of us are of. Uh... Druids, monks, clerics. Yeah, so there's no one who went to college, I see. No uh, one, no one of that kind of magic, uh, sadly. Failed in college. Well, I hope that one day when you join a group, that could uh, that trend could change with you. What? What? Actually, do you aren't mean? you in a adventuring group? Yeah, I guess. The five and a uh, five feathers or something. Turned yeah, on the radio this morning. How does he know? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, the podcast! The podcast. Well, the podcast. yeah, um... We're investigating the shards of... Uh... I want to say Perseverance, but I know that's not their name. Amplification. Shards of Amplification. Yeah, but that's what we're investigating. Yeah, it's quite troubling for the people of, uh, of Tyon and Riften and Kamal in general. Though I hope some good can come out of this tribal conflict. What? I don't, I don't like it. Three nobles just died. Yes, it's a sad. But One uh, of them was a child. Of course. But uh, those tribes have been causing trouble for the rest of the cities. Though I'm sad that their good people had to suffer during the saying that their deaths are good. The deaths of the elders of the Tawaki tribe are good, but the deaths of their people isn't. I know quite a few people from the Tawaki tribe were good people, but the Tawaki elders weren't very um, wise individuals. Oh, looks at him in fucking disgust. <laughs> hmm. Nothing. No, you disagree. Wait, did he just say, like, some racist shit? Oh, he's, yeah. He said that the deaths of the elders were a good thing. But oh, fuck that guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go round two steal from him. <laughs> I, 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 like, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you to, like, go off. Like, stop. You disagree with that sentiment? After all, they were harassing the people of, uh, Riften. Well, yeah. But, uh, really need to perhaps, die. We, uh, perhaps we shouldn't get political. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't really care when it started. That's what we It's the mood in these festivals. Politics. Mm. Well, Are we cancelling this guy? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, you enjoy the party then. I'm going to go and see the others. Mm -hmm. Alright, it was nice to meet you, Lilum. Same to you. He kind of smiles in a, a knowing way of some sorts, and he walks off, actually. Yeah, Willem isn't really good at keeping someone that he knows that he hates, and he very obviously shows it that he didn't like what he said. <laughs> it's kind of right, though. Well, yeah. I mean, yes, yeah, Sadie agrees with him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Well, you just got punched into a fucking column, so shut up. <laughs> okay, well, I I don't feel inclined to talk to the rest of them. Alright. What about everybody else? What are what are y'all doing? Shocker. But uh, no, dark. Uh, what are you doing, Steven? Vibing. <laughs> And I'll try this apple thing again. Alright, yeah. Going... Go ahead. It's stuck in Steven's mind. Alright. Make a... Make either... I'll do it individually this time. I'll do it individually? Okay. Go ahead. First is... Uh... That perception? Or perception, yeah. Perception... That's a 10 plus... 4. 14. 14 perception, okay. Yeah. Is your dex. Next is just dex, right? Straight up dex. 30. It's 11. 11. Well, finally, one of you actually win the game. Oh, fucking <laughs> finally. You pull one gold and you dive in, and finally you get your a handle on the game, and you pull out a lava fruit in your mouth and immediately chomp down on it, and it tastes delicious. Oh, I want to eat something now. 15 gold. 13? 15. Oh, okay. That Steve? was... Yeah? What game is that? It's the, uh... <clears throat> bobbing for souls, or bobbing for wava fruit? I flick him a, I flick him a gold. Alright. Alright, give me either both, either dex or perception, either with advantage or separately. I can give you both? Yeah, you can give me both. That's how it works. Both with advantage? No, just both. On their own. Okay, both that's perception. Uh, for perception, that is a... That's a 15. Alright. And yeah, dexterity, you said? Dexterity, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's a 15 as well. Alright, you also are able to pull a lava fruit out of the out of the little bucket and he flips you uh fifteen gold. Okay. Oh, can I go again? Mean, you mean you're doing oh, anything? Yes. Oh dear. I flick, I flick him another gold. Alright, you're going again. Uh, <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna do the sumo wrestling thing and then I want yeah, to go I'll down get and to you do the second Yeah, I want it to go down and then and have us do the Tug of you do war. It 15 times and win it 15 and, and win 15 times. Uh, uh, you'll gain 210 gold. <laughs> 22 for perception and a 24 for dexterity. Somehow you actually catch two lava fruit in your mouth, and you're and you get shocked and you get flipped 30 gold. You get flipped 30 gold. He flips 30 individual gold pieces at you. <laughs> oh, you were having trouble with this? <laughs> and I'm gonna go again. I flick him another gold. Alright, go ahead and go again. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to limit it to three. Uh, that is a 19 for perception. Yep. And an unnatural 20 for dexterity. Alright, yep, you, uh, once again... This time, you catch three! You just made 57 gold. 90 gold! 45 gold! 45 gold! 45 given 45 no, gold. Well, no, you got 15, 15 and then 30, 15, and then a 15. 15. So. And another 15, which is 45. I made back my gold from getting that necklace. Or that yeah. earring. Earring. Yes. So he caught one, and then you said he caught two the second time, which is 30. Then he yes. caught another one, which is 15. That's 60. Oh, yes. Wait, so I get 60 gold? You get 60, 60 total. And remember, you paid three to play. Yep. So I'm at like I'm at like 539 gold pieces right now. Good for you. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I didn't know you had that much. Items. <laughs> Alright, uh, do... let's go over to Mange. Mange, are you doing the, uh, contested strength again? Yes, but I want to go up against somebody else, because... Alright, he, he sets you up against, uh, this gal. Otto. 
What the? Well, what? The Odo will kick your ass. All right, contest to strength. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Eat. Ah. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, he grapples you. Okay. He rolled a natural one. Come on. Come on. Just don't. Yes. Yeah, he's <laughs> out of the grapple. Come on. Alright. Oh my god. He grapples you. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, you get out of the grapple. All right, last round. You grapple him. Yes. And you automatically win since it's the third round. <laughs> you sure, why not? All right. Make contesting strength checks against each other. Uh, okay, fine, I'll go use Imps then. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God, because he has those bags there. Look, at any time you could say, I want to rage, and you'll just do it, and you just roll again. <laughs> eh, I'm fine. Okay. So you're grappled? Yep. Come on, dice. Okay, I'm gonna rage. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's not cheating in surprise mechanics. <laughs> exactly. My master will allow it. Yeah, I won't low anyway. I win. Yeah, you win. Eight. Eight. No, no, eight. No, 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 no. I'm out. You out okay. You get out, get out of the grapple and then okay. you guys have to grapple. Okay. Ah, getting angry just for me. I'm touched. Uh, that's, like, that's, this is just strength, so that's a 17. 18. Okay. Alright, a main character. Wait, no, this isn't athletics, this is just pure strength. This is so just it is. pure strength. Yes, the rage adds plus 2. No, no the rage adds plus go. 2 damage. No, that's a damage bonus. Yeah, that's a damage. Yeah. Yeah. Quote. This is just... You just had your modifier, you get advantage. Do you want to use this round to activate your shard? Yeah. No, no, that's a bit overpowered. Okay, so sixteen. Oh, but yeah, sixteen. Yeah. 16. Yeah, and I got a seventeen. So you're back in a grapple. All right. Try to get out of the grapple. Still me. Still me. Still me. Oh ho 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 ho! Twenty-four. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, 21, so you're out the grapple. You get out it was a close. It was close. We're, we're having a good time. Alright, uh, who oh, won? Yeah. Slip, we are. Go Ninja again. Ninja uh, gets another 30 gold. No, I just got out of the grapple. We still have, oh, you got out yeah, of the Yeah, we still got one more roll. Yeah. Did you still do got... three rounds? This oh, will be the third oh, round. The okay, then this you will be the third round. Alright, over grapples, the other wins. Oh, yeah. I was so close to an F20. Yep, you get me. Yep. Nain, you get another 30 gold. I'm like, yes. oh, stop, stop you there. Okay. I heard you good for two rounds there. Yes, you did. <laughs> Thought you were going to sweep my leg. Sweep my leg. Okay. Uh, <laughs> huh. Well, Lilum, I don't know. Uh, out of all of them, out of all of the priests, does he actually know any of them? Uh, personally, you've met only one of them. Who is that? And that, that? is, uh, that is actually, uh, Lube, uh, Miss Old Scurrian Lady over here. You've met before. Oh, yeah, Last guys. You were at, uh, Riften, which was a while ago. She saw you when you were around, like, ten. So. That's like, so that was, like, eleven nine years, years ago. ago. Yes. No, nine years ago, yeah. Nine. Okay, I'm gonna yep. walk up to God, you all are young! Jesus! Yes, they yeah, are. I, I made this character specifically to be young for a reason. Anyways, yep. Yeah, and I made mine specifically to be younger than everyone else for a reason. Jesus, I'm, I'm 27! 
god! Hello, Mr. Bay. I'm with the children. Oh, little Miss, that you? Oh my yeah. god, you've grown up since the last time we saw each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last time it was actually like your height. <laughs> yes. How have you been? Well, I don't. I'm. St I was being put through training most of my life, so uh, been all right. Yeah, but I feel um, like an old fart. I'm literally 27. Being outside on my own is actually kind of interesting. Um, Unless I heard you joined a, a group called uh, Five and a Half Feathers. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but most of the party are kind of resting right now. Uh, the two are the two suplexing each other over there. Are, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Sarah has party. like man like pinned by his own leg, and then like man just like, just like kicks anyone off. Oh. I guess I can call them over whenever they're done. Um, you want to play like a card game or something? So I hear this. Yeah, you hear this. Yeah. Even you're like right next to each other. There. Yeah. I... Oh hello. Yes, well, uh, I'm much less uh, dexterous since the last time we met. Uh, you know, being stuck in this thing. She pats the edge of her wheelchair. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I could make like tea or something. Ah, oh, yes, I'm gonna pick it up! Okay, you want some too, Steven? Yes! Okay. Tea party! Gee, what? you want to come over here as well? We're gonna play, like, a, in, a fantasy poker. <laughs> fantasy blackjack. Yes, it's blackjack, performance. but I cast fireball. What? Blackjack, but I cast fireball. I don't, I don't, I, I, is there a description to see here? Okay, then. Yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna... I hope you all are dealing with that uh, tribe issue with the Heido Grace. I heard lots of stuff about it. Uh, it's uh, fallen on deaf ears, mostly. Yeah, I don't... The... the Shah that was living here forced us to not even fight them. It was very hard. <laughs> Yes, well, the Shaw cares a lot about his honor, and uh, his honor prevents him from putting uh, unnecessary risk to some people. Especially uh, people of higher standing, such as yourself, Lilum. Well, Lilum. I'm not of no high. Well, you're the no son of a partner, you're revered, as a, you're revered as a prodigy of some sort, uh, often considered a paladin yourself in the Order. don't do anything to, to what the paladins do, uh, but I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got most of this title because of my father. I I, I literally only read books. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's what most of us do for our first years. Don't worry, one day you'll learn how to be a proper paladin. I guess. Uh, <laughs> what the, do you like, talk to the, the other people here a lot? Or do you only like meet this the cycle? Ah, oh, we we always talk. It's a part of our job description. <laughs> but yes, anything politics. interesting going around? Uh, politics. That's pretty much it. We're all very worried about the Idocrace's uh, uh, situation with the Idocrace. Uh, some are suspect are afraid of an attack on the cities. Uh, such a silly thing to expect from a uh, small tribe such as themselves who don't even have proper firearms. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Man, this investigation is going to do a lot of work. Guns do exist, yeah. Yeah, guns are... Guns are mostly reserved for the uh, higher... high nobles and stuff. I just wish we knew more about these shards of investigation. Yes, they're quite a mystery. They only seem to have appear appeared recently. Yeah. Hmm. It is very concerning. So, Kamal was already in a shit show. Now it's even worse. Yeah, I guess the main problem is I don't even know where to go next. I I've been being guided by our contractor. Well, hopefully, sure. Uh, That'll be able to send you in the right direction. Yeah. Um, blackjack. <laughs> Fantasy blackjack. 
fantasy blackjack, yeah. So what are we doing here? Fantasy jack black. Fantasy jack black. Oh, uh, hi Mange. You want to play? Deal you in? Nah, uh, I'm fine. I'll just watch. Okay. <laughs> Quite an interesting group you have here. Don't really see many half elves around here anymore, other than you, Lilum. <laughs> <laughs> I he's from um Regalbrook. The mainland. Me? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, a Winifred. Ah, I've barely ever met Winifreds before, honestly. It's good to meet you. Thanks. <laughs> How is Winifred? Last time you saw it, I heard things weren't going so well down there. Yeah, he just shakes his head. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, yeah, still worshiping the old gods. Gonna get visited by the H Jin if they continue that up. You are the old gods. <laughs> oh no, not that reference. Steven just nods, he doesn't really know anything about gods. <laughs> yes. Uh, hopefully... Do you have family there? Uh... Oh yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> yes, I have family. Hopefully they will be spared from whatever happens down there. It cannot go well for the most... <sighs> Yikes. Alright, what, what time is it, Ira? It's about 442. Four, we have like 20 minutes before the session ends. What else are y'all gonna do? Or I wanna do the I wanna do the tug of war at least one last time. See all if right. all of you can beat me. I doubt it. I, I wanna talk to um the Scorch Girl lady. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we can do like... we can do my thing last if we want. Juniper. Wait, how do you know that she's the Scorch Girl? Oh right, I made an article about them. I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what I've been basing. That's why I walked up to Odo first, because he's a monk, and Santa's like, all right, he's a monk, he's pretty young, let's, let's, let's Yeah, see. I completely forgot I made an article on these guys. Anyways, yes, well, oh, hello there. Uh, she is mixed race human with black hair, wears a toga with symbols of Scorch Scar on it. So, you know, you don't know much about her because she's new, so. Ah, hello there. Ah, how have you been enjoying the festival? Oh, it's so lovely. I've gotten a lot of stuff here, but uh, I'm mostly here for the music and the dancing. Celebration. Mm -hmm. oh. ah. there, there was dancing? I didn't really see any. Uh, they started early in the morning and ended. I was legally told that there wasn't any dancing. I'm upset. None that you could see. It was on the edge of uh, Riften, but it got interrupted by some night worms coming in and destroying the place. You know, so annoying. Ah, it's it's good that Emilia is mostly free from them. Yes. And of course, they're mostly free from them because um, Salia and her father did illegal hunting on night runners, but that's beside the point. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sadly, they're protected under Zoran's laws. <laughs> <laughs> we can't exactly stop them from destroying the cities. <laughs> No matter, but surely there could be at least some preventative measures, right? I mean, like, no, is, is there anything you say? Like, if you don't want bugs, you get bug repellent. Well, you alright? Yeah, I just saw the- I just saw the lower hex, I've never seen them before! <laughs> oh, you saw God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me- let me send this to you. I, I gotta um, post this. We'll continue on while he's yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, so you're quite new. Uh, I know. Most Arcane posted this in Alchemy Spite. It's in memes. Quote, some other people are trying to play. Please be mindful. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, that's a good one there. Uh, oh God. So, uh, so I know Skorska. As for well, Scorch Guard specifically, I mean, the death of um, any uh, member of your order is like pretty harsh, right? Ah, oh, yes. We, we're very uh, careful to pay proper respects to those who have fallen before us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a new noble, do you have to like read every like fallen one? 
full in, full in uh, squash girl or whatever? No, not very often. Some of us are curious enough to do it, but uh, I had to. I'm more of a hands on sort of person. I deal mm. with uh, funerals directly, newer ones, rather than looking back on the past. For me, it distracts from the now. I know, but sometimes the past is influential, like. Oh, uh, there was a one called. Um... Of the Scotch Cafe who has passed? Uh, yes, um. My, uh, my friend, uh, Wowsy, they were Scorch Goers, but they're uh, very talented with maps and cartography. If you ever need anything like that, or archaeology, they're, they're a quick time. But, uh, about, uh, ten, about, like, nine and, like, eight months ago, uh, he was murdered by, um, uh, a maggot regiment, an Archangel Nassi, about, uh, five, six in height, long back drag looks, last seen in either, uh, the, the places. I haven't and, uh, been too far away from Kamal recently, so I would tell you if I knew where that Arcane Genasi was, but uh, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah, he's been at large for like uh, nine years now, kidnapping, you know, kidding, all that, all that sort of stuff still. Mm, yes. I'm just, you know, asking if that situation... I would never want to know of his uh, presence in the world, and perhaps we could be of some help to solving his... Uh, this problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just wondering how the case was progressing, but I've seen that it's not. Yeah, it's probably gone cold at this point. No, mm-hmm. so I do hope you can find uh, her, his uh, murderer, soon enough. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> Alright. Would, would you like any of you like to do anything else? I'm gonna do something. All right, what you doing, G? Uh, are there any like are there any tieflings around? Tieflings? Uh, other than this guy, no. Oh shit! It was the guy I looted. It's Dante. Yeah. You're gonna rob Dante again? Dante. You might find some more tiefling people down at the. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna like tap him on his shoulder, or tap him on his like hip. Uh... Uh, yes, sir. Hello, hello. Um, hi. What god do you worship? Ah, I worship Miss Alrain. Huh. Okay. Uh, I- that name sounds familiar. Um, I- that- uh, Okay, uh, this is- This is gonna sound weird, but I think I have a tie to Alrain. To- uh, a direct tie to Alrain, that is- I hear- I hear voices. I hear voices in my head, and every couple of times I hear it say Alrain, and then- Oh! Uh, no, um, Salia, I'd prefer you not interrupt this. Okay. So. So, I wanted to know if a priest of Alrain would know what's ha- why the fuck someone is talking to me through my head. Let me see. If you don't mind, could I perhaps peer into your mind to see what's going on? Remember, you have the shard of amplification, which prevents your mind from being read. Sure, you can read my mind. Uh, he goes to read your mind, but he can't. Uh, seems like something's blocking my vision into your head. I'm gonna unattune to the shard of amplification. Alright, you, you unattune to it and put it in your pocket? Yes. Ah, okay. He goes again, and then immediately as he put he puts his hands on the side of your face... And you see that under uh, his eyelids, you see his eyes glowing a bit. And immediately, as soon as they start glowing, he jolts his hand away from you. Oh dear lord. Um... Is that good? Is that bad? A bit of both. Okay. Seems it's not your mind that's the problem, problem, quote unquote. Can I kill it? No, I would not suggest doing that. Um, but rather it's your soul. You see, some souls are reincarnated into new people, and it seems that was the case for you at one point. But actually, your previous life may still be existing in your soul somehow. It's very rare, and I've only seen very, like, one other case of it. That, uh, 
sadly didn't end well for them. You see, you can't kill the person inside your soul. If you It's one of your past lives. Though it's not supposed to be there, you can't kill them. For if you do, you will also die. So, like, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know what you just said. That all, like, like, uh, like, so he points, he puts his hand on his head. I'm here. All the words went here. And he points up off him. They all went over here. Okay, here's the thing. You have a, a pre one of your previous lives living inside of you. And if you try to kill him, he will ki take you along with him unintentionally. Mm -hmm. So basically, you can't kill the voice in your head. Or else both of you die. So I can't kill him? No. Can I... Uh, what are my options? The best thing is to come to terms with the fact that you have more than one person living in the same body. You but say that so nonchalantly, like I'm just supposed to live with it. I know it's difficult to hear, but... <sighs> the gods work in strange ways. There must be a reason that they decided to let the same life, your past life, in the same body. Yeah, fuck the gods. And he's just gonna walk away. Hands in his pockets. Just like, what, like, thinking to himself. Uh, that's like the exact pose Sally is making, by the way, as she's walking down. <laughs> so what are your plans? Are you guys heading back to the town? Because the festival... I, I think wanted one more tug of war. So that's yeah. Tug of war. Right. yeah, once more before the, the session war. ends. Alright. So who's going on which side of the tug of war? Uh, I just wanted everyone versus himself. Even though it doesn't actually change the statistics, it's still one person making the world. Yeah. I'm just basically one versus three. That uh, that uh, sucks because I'm playing cards. Oh, yeah, go oh, ahead. Me too. Oh, uh, this the Scurian woman will be. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. We're getting ready to pack up. Okay. With, and uh, uh, everyone in the festival starts calming down, though some parties are still going on throughout the night. I guess he's going to back to his see him. tavern. Where are you going, G? He's going back to his room. Are you not gonna go tug of war with Mange? Nah, he's not he a tug of war. It's just Mange again. Is it literally just Sally versus Mange again? Is it? No. <laughs> oh dear. I'll go back to the That's tavern. Thing. I'm going to tell you this right now, Mange. You will win. Hey, he's only winning because getting angry. That's why I was trying to get all three of you against me. Make it a real I challenge. <laughs> Alright, are you two making contested uh, athletics? Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna wage? Are you gonna wage? Nah, I'll give you a chance first. <laughs> 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 Twenty six. Yeah, like uh, Salia looks like really distracted. Uh, yeah, you beat Salia. You throw her into the mud pretty easily. Right. You guys like that's right. right, but that's the last game for tonight. Got to pack up. Yep. Sure. Perfectly fine. You I'm have gonna to be careful tomorrow. I'm gonna help her out of the mud. You're gonna just oh. roll into the mud. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit distracted. It's fine, it's fine. Un it's understandable. So are y'all heading back to the tavern? Yep, I'm heading back to the tavern. Alright. You all make your way back to the tavern. It's a wonderful night, you know. Did, did quite a lot today, but uh, the night winds down as other parties start to blare into the night. You sleep pretty... Nicely. But on the next day, it is Chalabub's star day, meaning that portals from other dimensions open up. It'll be especially dangerous, but you're not going to seek out the portals as you have a new mission tomorrow. And that's where we're going to end the session. This works. We did, we did it, guys. We got shopping <laughs> done. A lot of shopping. That was Ooh. a real drawn out session. Did we level up? No, you do not level up. Wait, wait, Nan, what no. do you mean with that? 
You don't level up. Well, uh, can you can Sorry, you? You're gonna that? you're gonna make her like push back the level up time. Uh, what if I want? What, what if that's not what I want? No. That sucks. Hey, guess guess what? This too. next session, section session six, we're gonna have Ren guest starring. Yay! Is he a bad guy? No. Can he? Be. He can probably. Is he gonna be overpowered? Yes. Um, both of them kind of are. They're level six, I think. Why can't I kill our cave? Oh, so they're two levels ahe ahead of us? Wow. It's like I've seen that before. It's like I've seen that, that before. That's, that statistically means we can kill them. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Shush. like I've seen this before. <laughs> Yet. You're not gonna kill them, because they have bombs and runes and can beat your asses. I'm immune to bombs. <laughs> What's damage? Oh, What's damage? You cannot damage? be immune to Jelly's bombs. What's damage? Uh, they're randomized, so... Also, it's probably magic. It's Whoa. also magic, yes. No, I was making a joke like, Absorbed it's damage, elements. great, I can take the damage. I got 46 health, stones, and endurance, jelly. and... I got a lot jelly of stuff. Jelly is a fucking beast. Okay, anyways. That's the end of the What's session. arcane? Okay. Arcane, I can't tell you, because it's a big bad evil guy. Arcane's a poopy, that's what and... it is. That is where we will end the session. Yep. Thank you all for coming to this week. We will see you in two weeks for the next session of Ambrosia Isles.